what is the craze to jump into a relationship or do ship once they enter big brother life is lonely oh. have you tried being in the house for with by yourself but also i think that contest contestants get into the house with the mindset that that's once, how if to you, win if you have a ship yes that's an, that's a low budget way to because get because most of them have different personalities that are all, always very interesting that we don't see because they want to ship like <laughs> do you understand i know it must everything always be a ship <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to, you know, I used to say the number one podcast. I'm not going to say that any, anymore. You mm. know what I'm start saying? Welcome to the podcast that matters. The podcast that matters. <laughs> Do with this information what you will. But this is, the, so we have, we have evolved past number one, number two, number three, all that. All that. Because the chat is lying. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The chat, you know, the chat. The like, chat don't matter. Welcome back to the podcast oh that matters. God. Terms and conditions by Pulse. Shit. We are out here. We're in the building. Hmm. Um, real quick. Um, an Afrobeat giant <laughs> has been arrested in a country that's not a giant. Chooks, <laughs> <laughs> chooks. <laughs> They you put are, you are as wild as you're driving. They, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to tricks in the background. They put kids down there in Sanko. What Sanko? Prison. But Sanko is like not the nice prison. <laughs> uh, it's not the one that comes with bathroom. It's not jail. No, it's, not jail. it's not jail. So Kiz Daniel uh didn't show up for a concert he was paid for. Again. Paid fully. Again. For again, once again. And this time Allegedly. and this time around. Allegedly. Zalong arm of Zalo. <laughs> that's, up, that's that was very, very weird. Caught up with him. Except you didn't put allegedly this is your statement to follow. Nothing you. alleged. Is <laughs> on is on Instagram. <laughs> if Insta blog says so, <laughs> it is that is so st- if this lover says so, <laughs> it is. This guy will lie sometimes. <laughs> this one, no lie. So, um, yeah. Can you drop your phone before I whoop you out? Our thoughts and prayers. Our thoughts and prayers are with chair banks. <laughs> 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 because in phone go they ring. Everybody go they call Shay and say, your guy, your guy. Shay, I love you. <laughs> thoughts and prayers with you. <laughs> Now it's baby mama. Now we empire. <laughs> you <don't start. laughs> oh my god. That's why sometimes <coughs> when people know you with a certain person or you're affiliated to somebody and something happens, you're like, oh my god, you have to be at the brunt of it and yep. also participate. Well, how do you feel? How do you guys feel when you get calls like that. I know, I know you guys have got to calls like that when it comes to me, right? Yeah. <laughs> but funny thing that that does not happen anymore. Tan is a change boy. Is that- He's now Afrobeat's daddy. So it's Tolani is on Tolani. No, Tolani is it's not. It's not even the third person. Tolani is taking the best known therapy known to man and taking a lot of it. Yeah, the sex. Person. The pussy. <laughs> the pussy. So yeah. You guys yeah. are foolish. <laughs> he's, 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 Oh my. He's, he's, he's in a lot of women. It's he, he in. Is. Let's change the topic. How do you feel? So um, I. Like- <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can remember the very first time anybody called me. <laughs> so I can't remember the first about, time. I can't remember. But I'm sure it was wild. It was wild on Twitter. It was on Twitter yeah, something. Yeah, so it was yeah. a Twitter thing. And I was like... I feel like because I know you personally, I don't take it as serious as they take it. Hmm. It's not... So the way it is for them, it's probably very shocking. Hmm. Do you understand? And for me, it's like, this is not... This is a regular Tuesday. <laughs> wow. Regular day in the life. Wow. This guy like... Like I'm like, you don't know these guys. I don't. They're like, ah, that Tiwa Savage drum was wild. My phone did not rest, and I was in a hotel in Surulere, trying to get fucked, like get collecting <laughs> vitamins. <laughs> and they just won't let the brother they leave. Just won't. Ah, my phone they don't want to see the nigga oh prosper. There was a God. clubhouse room. There was a clubhouse room. If I remember the event yes, that day, there was yes, a clubhouse was. room was. dedicated to Moto. 
What about the Santi? So there was a no. That Santi owner was part no, of that the one, problem. No, you guys oh, were part. I was, I was, I was you guys actively were involved. We you guys were there. Involved. We you, guys say, you guys needed to extol. Yeah, 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 I kept, I kept, I kept, I kept, I kept Santi when I kept texting. What's the name of the guy now? Dela. No, the guy that hosted this space. Ima- I can't remember his Emmanuel, name. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Shout out to Emmanuel. Microphone. Yeah. Let me talk. <laughs> to All Emmanuel. these ones you guys are saying here. Yeah. Let oh me say God. my truth. Melody has a way of entering Twitter spaces with a bang. <laughs> what the hell? That's you just give Melody the mic. Melody, please, you are free to talk. You say, ha, ha, ha. It's so nice to be here. <laughs> Next thing, boom. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, I've actually been getting wild on Twitter Bro. Spaces. Me? Yes, I remember our, like our first Twitter Spaces together used Guy. to be calm and let's Guy. be orderly, let's be nice. Uh-uh, let's but be, I used to, let's I'm be still civil. Orderly, no. No. Let's be civil. Now you're like, let's be civil, but hey, this is foolish. <laughs> let's go on. Actually, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, love you too. XO, XO. But, yeah. but no, you're better. Like that head is own. Bro. That head is Twitter Space. Melody was forming um, um this thing. I'm my water. Melody was forming like um organizer of the like <laughs> what album did you talk about? i think it was joe boy's album we talked yeah. about and Tolani said his opinion Melo was like okay Tolani, thank you for sharing your opinion. <laughs> however i think it's one of the best albums that dropped that day okay moving on <laughs> 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 because she knows Tolani, oh Tolani will come back no 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 come back no let's i'm like mm-mm, mm-mm. this shit, shit, oh shit. Lord. but yeah but I, I, sh- this is this is an else thing my the thoughts i had on this earlier was first as first in a system where anything goes, mm-hmm. anything usually goes. Mm. Yes. It's a system of anyhowness. Yep. It's been for a long time. Yeah. I agree. And we have seen a lot of power to the artists. So yep. a lot of them really don't know how to act. Yep. Um some people are complaining about Ashake, I believe. Ashake? Yes, no. I've no. heard that one. Uh, I, earlier this morning there was there were complaints about Ashake as well that he came out at five AM. You guys eh? didn't see that? No. This morning. Eh? Yes, no. In Ghana. Um, <clears throat> five a.m. At five a.m. Do, do we use the same time? Or the one is like? Um, I think that one are ahead of us. I think maybe 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 you do used to not know, bro. Maybe like, just <laughs> so it's a system of anyhowness, and where anyhowness thrives, anything goes. What needs to start happening in this show situation is Nigerian Nigerian show promoters need to understand the concept of airtight contracts, not random contracts. Gentleman's argument for the sake of it. They sign contracts. Mm-hmm. But you need to sign, start signing contracts. Number one, Padlock with very, keys. very strict fundamental terms. Yeah. If you breach this, then there are, there are penalties. Yeah. Attached to everything, well thought out contracts. Yeah. And liabilities, and then general damages related to ticket f- ticket refunds and some of those other things. Where penalties are in place, Nigeria has to sit up. Then the Tanzania one, I saw reports of people talking about how the fans who were upset that he didn't show up were destroying things at the venue. Who's yeah. going to pay for that? Yeah, they trashed the so place. So it's, it's beyond you not showing up. They trashed the that, place. That's part of the thing. Yes, so who will pay for all of that? So, no, no. If, if there was a contract that states anything that results from your absence or lateness or Damage, otherwise. Whatever, yes. Whatever, no. whatever. Yes. Bro. So me, I'm even trying to buttress why the organizer was probably that upset because it's like, aside from you not coming, then I also have this damage to deal with. So none of the And maybe not be organizer get venue. So then they get, get venue. Then they get venue. Then they get venue. Yes, so that one. And when things like this happen, I'm just like, Nigerian fans. I think the interesting thing is the reaction to the kids that they own. It's not it's, like, it's layered. It's, it's, it's very, very opposite from when Omali and Thames were arrested. Yeah. Were arrested in I mean, that one was vilification. Yeah, this one is rightful. right. And people saw that. Okay, you're trying. That was vilification. Just now, he's like, like he has a because he now has a history of yeah doing shit like, stuff this. like this. He had one just weeks did ago. it in Yankee he twice in Breakfast Club twice. I think that's not Breakfast Club now. Doing this, did, did it twice in Yankee and stuff like Bro. that. I think that Nigerian artists should really stop going to the Breakfast Club. Not because the Breakfast Club is not great, but hmm. Because they just it's, it's, the interviews are mostly trash when they go to the breakfast clubs. Hmm. I don't know why. It seems like they. How are, many have you seen so far? I've seen it. I've seen it. It's not even pandering. Like no. the breakfast club is high energy, and they don't have the energy. It's high energy. <clears throat> it's quick witted. It's intelligent conversations. Can't go there and be giving one word replies. I'm very calm. Like it's not about the calmness. It's the energy. It's, it's very boring. The interviews are very boring and very dull. Hmm. So very dull. I think here's what is they seem to be more excited with Trevor Noah. 
Here's what it is. But Trevor Noah is our African brother. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, they seem to and be Trevor Noah is also African. He's an yeah. African brother. He probably yeah. knows some of their story better than yeah. yeah, he does. He does. he does. That's number one. Number two, I think... And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain something, but go on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Going straight to the deep end, the Breakfast Club is the height of urban music. Yes. Media, media I agree. I agree. It's the zenith. There yes. is nothing higher than the Breakfast Club. Yeah. yeah. Literally, not drink champs, not hot nights. That's seven. a great. That's a great perspective. Yes, nothing. You have not finished your statement, but I know yeah, where you're going. Nothing. Yeah, it's higher than that. <clears throat> so throwing Nigerian artists into the deep end. Yeah. Of people who have, who are in the radio hall of fame. <laughs> they haven't ended. It's a little too much. They haven't even ended. For people who have a history of not doing interviews. I was about to go At there. Home. I was about to go there. I was about to go there because it's like I remember David's interview was really good. David. Yeah, on, yeah, on Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Club yeah. Yes. I saw that one. David David's interview was, was really that good. That was that yeah. was that was the ex- that's the exception. That David's interview was really But so, David's interviews are always good. Not always, but all, all the ones I've seen, they're all they're David all is nice. too honest. So his interviews are Yeah, they're always and too they're always cool. <clears throat> Real? Yeah, they're always yeah, cool. He's a conversation. Yeah. Like. yeah. David does set, bro. See the one with Ebuka now. No, that that's a fantastic interview. Fantastic interview. He knows how to have that's these conversations. Interview. And one thing that people do not understand about interviews is that it's about conversations. I'm, I'm going to speak speak about it from like radio perspective yeah. in Nigeria, right? It's funny how <laughs> for the longest people have been having conversations about Kiss Daniel. You see it on social media a lot. Of, Why are you not going for interview? You're not going for interview. You're not going for interviews. And it feels like oh. Artists generally believe that when they get to like a particular level or something, they don't need, they don't need like to do rounds here in Nigeria, yeah. right? It's like oh, I'm bigger than that. That's but, not that's what, that's what's essentially a lie, though. Is it not a so, lie? <clears throat> before I used to criticize Nigerian artists for not doing press here. Yeah. Then I realized that a lot of things were involved in what they consider to be press. To be what? To be press. To be press. Yes. So a lot of these guys are signed to foreigns. Foreigns, yes one <clears throat> and those foreigners really don't understand that the market is not here this market we are just building it mm-hmm. and well the major bag is not here of course it's not here <clears throat> the audience that is paying for them is not here of course it's not here too. the audience where the company can monetize is not here yep so <clears throat> what they are doing is essentially exporting the sound and the yes pricing. that's what they're doing it's because you need to adequate monetization and incredible revenue on your money i agree so i sort of understand why it's not happening i don't know but so, so, so Tanani, what I was going to say is, let's not forget that the, for you to export the sound, you need to home grow the sound. Facts. You cannot export what is not growing. Facts. We're, we're, we're constantly seeing a shift that would a shift that would get bigger in the next yeah. five years yeah. from artists that have <clears throat> totally abandoned their home yeah. to go do the sound outside. Yeah. Because when those people come back, when the people who invested in you and when they come back to the home or they listen to the home to get us and they're not hearing you here, how yeah. do you think you will be relevant there? Because you also have to maintain here too <clears throat> because they have to see that you're popping in your country because they literally came from your country to get the sound. Not not anymore, actually. Okay. We're going to see a lot of artists that Temps never popped here. She's the biggest in um, in terms of, she's the most trendy thing when it comes to the African music. But right she started now. here. She had her moment here. She had her moment here. Yeah. And on what and who it's, and not, who, it's not the blow blow. It's not moment. the blow, yeah. but she was yeah. known here. Was and also actually, on whose song did she get this popular popular? <laughs> let's not do that. Okay. Listen, the, and, even would, you would you would have listened to this pod. A lot of you are not number. What happened? <laughs> listen, Somebody one one of our listeners tagged me, me and you on a tweet. Yeah. Dragging it's melody. a joke. No, listen. Oh. He's down here trying to sleep in his gym cell. Inmates, no sleep, no <laughs> sleep. <laughs> Wake <Wait> up. <laughs> No, 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 no. The, guy, the guys that listen to... No sleep, bro. The guys that listen to... Bro. Then the police to the... The police go to tell the promoter, call her your money. <laughs> so I took back what we were saying before, before Excel. I think they're going to do reverse booger. <laughs> I, think, I think it's essentially important because even the time she started here, she popped... No, so- she got some sort of recognition here. It was not a whiskey song. Everybody, like, oh, oh, oh. True. Another, but, but, but what but I'm really another thing to add. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing to add to this is we need to go back to the days when artists used to get media training. It's I'm headed there too. It's very, very important I'm headed there because too. Med- like media training is so important. We've had interviews where I had to message people like, sorry, Why? sorry to say, Why but did you do this? but face the camera on me, please. Reach out to us for your consultation on media trainings. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> 
facts. No. <laughs> is your company incorporated? Uh, my, my company is incorporated. <laughs> Not really, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. but the point is these things are extremely important you see where you see where record labels even forget these mid guys one would expect that an a-list artist would go for an interview and they would have like superb conversation when you're not even having the interviews here at home it's a continuous thing because it gets better with time the more you do it the more you learn conversations and everything but when you're trying to act like oh i don't need it here and how many of these people even have the personality to not have it actually <laughs> I mean, I, I, one of the biggest that journalists is that people are hailing right now. I, I, I literally did an interview with them like in 2020, in the middle of lockdown, and mm-hmm. it was organized by DSP. Mm-hmm. After the interview was done, so the person had to start apologizing on their behalf. That I know that interview was horrible. Do but you thank you for carrying it. Do you understand? So I do agree with you. Conversation. But I just feel like, unless we become we are going to get there actually yeah unless we become like a hub of incredible revenue generation yeah. we are going to be taking so an, 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 another much. thing with this is like on a broader level yeah. the nigerian idea of success is you have money and every other thing doesn't matter you act like nobody else which matters. is a problem which is yes. a problem so when yes. you now bring it down to even the music like it's like i'm successful now i'm gonna come late for the show fuck your niggas <laughs> My- my I interviews agree. will be shit. Fuck your yes. niggas. And then it goes to a level. I'll so have an attitude. I was talking to a record label exec and the person was uh, um, admitting that one song which everybody likes, mm-hmm. I was telling him that, guy, this song is not a hit. But the person says, look, my brother, to the artist it doesn't matter. I know what you're saying. The person, mm-hmm. the person is signed to that person's label. The person says, I, I know what you're saying. But as long as this artist is monetizing from this song. Well, good. He's going to show and people are singing it back to him. He's not seeing what you're seeing. All these ones are seeing your business, bro. You're a hater. Not you're actually you're a hater. Seeing. At that point, you're a hater. I promise you. So you can't process it. You can't. You can't. If, yeah, even record something. labels, like, trying to launch an artist and just launching the artist without preparing them for what you're launching them for. Yeah. No media training, no like, round. No, like, really, how? In Korea, they literally have bro, colleges. Those, those guys are crazy. You have to colleges. train these people. To teach. Those guys K-pop. Are Bravo, that like is. Ah. looks, branding, looks, fashion, branding, dancing. But that's why when you see them, you know that people are ready. When they, when that's why those people like when they now. come out, they, they are move ready. Like robots. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. Engineered. And yeah. you like, yes, yes, literally. Jude Engines. Film. <laughs> Sorry, I have to try it now. <laughs> that was that was Jude. a low blow. I had to try. I can't be the one not cracking jokes. Except Nigerian women are funny. I had to do something. This will make you laugh. Um. I, I actually I have to run because I have somewhere I'm going to. <laughs> Capitalism has called, but I want to say that um, once again the event the 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 annual the annual gathering of promiscuous youths that also highlights and celebrates toxic women. What's this one talking about? Has come again, <laughs> and yet another toxic woman. Has been evicted from Big Brother Nigeria. Oh, Wait, are you guys watching Christ. this season? I'm watching it on Instagram. Everything <laughs> that happened, that's bro. The fuck? I actually, oh, bro, the Lamba this morning was bro. What's Lamba? Can ride though. Can ride. Oh, the um. They having sex. Daniela and K. I say K. Khalid. 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 They already fucking. Niggas, they be, bro. This these guys that came in. Since I think I change, I don't wanna play no games. <laughs> hey, bro. They been, the they was, been going in. Was almost, and one of them, Amaka, was like, ah. eh, she just did for her bed. They look there. But I'm sure they're having safe sex, sure. They share I mean, condoms. They have a lot of condoms. They share yeah, condoms. Yeah, I'm sure they should the be having safe sex. They have a lot of condoms. Have a lot of condoms. <laughs> but don't, don't, I've always thought that it was a problem that they couldn't show those things on Big Brother. Why should they show it? I mean, um, NBC now. You know today. your country now. NBC. Look, so before even on Showmax, I don't know if that still happens, but before Showmax used to show more of unedited. the... Unedited. Yeah, unedited. Not everything, but, but some of the unedited. I don't even think we need to see shit. that, please. But now... But before they used to now, like when they used yes, to do that shower... Naked, bro. Are you guys serious? Dash, bro! Shower hour. Back in the day. If you want to watch porn, go watch porn. This is not porn. This is a reality TV show where they're talking about, you know, intelligence. So what? Many... What? 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 Intel, Intel, what? There are different layers to it. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I, I, I feel like people have... people. What is the craze to jump into a relationship or do ship once they enter big brother? Life is lonely. 
have you tried being in the house for, with by yourself? But also, I think that contest contestants get into the house with the mindset that that's how if to you, win. If you have a ship, yes, that's an, that's a low budget way to because get because most of them have different personalities that are all, always very interesting that we don't see because they want to ship. Like, <laughs> do you understand? I know it must everything always be a ship. Then after the house, we'll not buy you people, not start fighting when the fans say people must marry. The ship is bigger. After finish giving you money, no one to marry. You must marry you. After my ship, but I was surprised that this guy is got married to be honest. Some of the people that have gotten married from Big Brother, bro, surprised. Um, Which one? Bam Teddy. Yeah, Bam Teddy and Bam Bam. I I thought that she was alive. Oh, you did? I swear to God. Teddy and Bam. No, I I I I thought it was. I actually thought it was more serious for her than it was for him. Then there's the Cody. The other, there's another lady that, that she's together with a big brother, big brother yeah big brother. that she was a former police officer in the uk yeah bro. oh gedoni gedoni and them um, kafi yes those ones bro. too like those ones too. and even those ones too yeah maybe that's what i need maybe you should try it too have you guys listened to Niger? No, no, no. We don't it's do not such. for me. No. We don't do such. Do I look what do you what do you think i we don't do such. What do you think i'll go and do like tell me don't don't be like i don't think it's for me they're going to be very confused in the house. Are you? They're going to be very, very Which confused. Which will make sure you don't win. <laughs> they're going to be very confused. If there's a place to, to do negative <laughs> voting. Do not, do not open clubhouse. We since Spartan, you should not win. Oh articles. So Twitter space. They will bring ah. out your old articles. Ah, and old, so good. And facts, so, that time, facts only go, they go up for you. Ah. Tell me you're happy, go, they go up. No, this guy, all guy, okay. cares about is this number. Oh my God. God. Have you guys listened to Fireboy's album? I have. I have. What do you yeah, guys think? Times. Oh. I like a shower. On brand. You are stupid <laughs> for that. Very stupid. You did not for see that. That, very, that hit her like stupid. a ton of bricks. Boom. Very stupid. Like a ton of bricks. Get out. Yeah. Um. But that should be your anthem. Maybe. You have feelings for me. You have feelings for me. Ta! Get, get out. out. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about the album? Um. I miss I the days when Tranis write risky articles. <laughs> That's never going to happen. Again. Risky, uh, um, risky, risky. <laughs> first is first. I think I thought it was a good album. Chooks in the building thinks a nine point five. I don't think so. Shout out to Chooks in the building. Chooks called me. I was like, this is this is same. same. Chooks called me and said, when you release an album that is good, you don't you need don't to explain. explain. Oh, oh yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> As for what? Like, like okay, explain what? Cool. Like, oh, yeah, he was talking about. Okay, okay, okay. Podcast. Okay. Right, um, yeah, so go. he. So the thing about the album is... I'm talking, talking about Tim. The album will grow on you, but let's continue. So I think it's like a 7 over 10, which is not bad. I think, I think that the album is a really good album. I'll give it a 7 or, or 8 over 10. No, what, what it shows is the boy is really good, right? Because... And he's he has, not a fluke. Yes, yeah, he's not a fluke. He's definitely, no, Fireboy has not been a fluke. We know that one. He's really, he's really good because for me to give this a 7 or 8 over 10 is, is a lot... Considering the fact that I deem this to be his weakest album, it is. In the three he has released, I really think so. I think it is. I think it's. I think it's his weakest album. Um, I think I was. Was I the one? I think was it you I was talking to? That I was like, I see parallels between him, this album, and um, Apollo. And no, sure. this new Bonner album. Was it? Yeah, Love yeah, yeah. It was Love me. Damini. It was me. But I actually, Love Damini is Fire uh, Bonner's Bonner weakest, weakest album, album in a while. Too, in a while. But it's also a good album. It is yeah, it's a good, good album. album, and that's it fine. Is. And that's fine. Guys, in this uh, in this um you know this end of the year thing and song of the year conversation, do you think the entire drama that's been around kids then it will affect the booger? No, no. The year conversation? no. If they even if they if they if they play their cards well, you should drop a single after this and watch it explode. They will mo- you most guys likely really? they will. It it is what it is. It's capitalism. This game is economics, bro. <laughs> if you even drop on why this So you don't cool. so you don't think all of this will affect anything? Will affect affects this is bro, this is the music industry. If you even drop away, bro. There's a rumor cool. that Bonner Boy and did some shit in the club back in the day. When you dropped this album, nobody remembered. But should that be? It's not about what it should be or what it shouldn't be. It's what it is. It is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. Hmm. There's not, bro. Niggas are killing people and going to. Cl- they are selling drugs, shooting people and going to clubs. Their colleagues will be out here telling you free somebody. When Kizana come out, bro. he will think about this experience. Oh, one thousand percent on his album. And that, guess what that album is going to be? Fire, fire, fire. And fire, that song, you go feel like go give a mad ad libs. Bro. <laughs> Anyways, please. It's, please. It's high time for us to talk about the conversation. The... Let's finish our fire, Fireboy Command. Yes, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm Fireboy. About to dip. Before you dip, let's finish our Fireboy Command. No, I'm already late, actually. Oh. So I have to go. Capitalism. Hold it down.
Fuck for, you. For the for the for the gang. For the <laughs> down. For the youth. Please remember that all our collective features are in our hands. So please make sure yes. you get your PVCs and vote for a better Nigeria. Okay. Um. So I think the Fireboy album was. So I think it was it, it was different. Yeah. I was trying to do different things. It was it was a little experimental. Jukes. Yes, come and re- come and replace Excel. Yes, yes. Please don't come and push your agenda. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Let's don't. talk about the album. So Fireboy's album, I, I thought it was experimental, okay. and because of that, a lot of people, so a lot, of Af- a lot of Nigerian music lovers, or African music lovers, music lovers generally, they think they like experimentation, mm. but they don't, uh, or, unless it starts working and start doing wonders in front, right in front of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think because this album is a lot experimental. Um, there's a, there's an element of him trying to get out. It's already outside mm. as an international artist. Yes, he is. But the evidence of him being an international artist on this album, mm-hmm. so it feels like <clears throat> those elements. For example, the final song "Glory" that you like, mm-hmm. a lot of influences. Yeah. Um, there are a bunch of songs on this album that, are, and then the features on a Diana, for example, shows you that there's an international I, that, um, drive for this album. Yeah. Mm. Um, people, a lot of people don't know how to carry themselves along when they feel alienated. So people get comfortable when an artist releases a type of content. Mm-hmm. And when it does something away from that, they think it does something in their minds because it's not something that they were expecting, mm-hmm. then it's not good. Yeah. <clears throat> but the thing about is this, this different, thing is, this Playboy different. It's, it's different. It is. It's, it is different. It's different. It's different. It's a different album. Yeah, but it's it's not totally different from Fireboy. No, it the, is. Is it? The, it's like, it's the, the, the not necessarily. It's more refined. It's, it's more, more refined, refined but I feel like the context of the the content of the conversation. No, it's not. It's, it's a no, the songwriting. The songwriting is, is Fireboy. Fire it's yes. So it's not totally It is. It is Fireboy. Um, the honesty of the songwriting. Like, look at Ayo, for example. Ayo, when the album dropped, I was saying, oh, I, I don't really blah blah blah. By nightfall, it was like it's a great album. You see. You know, so, I think that <laughs> this album will. I mean, it would be age like well. what well, it would age well exactly. Something like maybe. But not. it needs it needs a hit at least two for that narrative to be. Able maybe to a shower. I mean, two songs I think could do that is the Afro High Life song, then um, the no. Shower song also. I think Ashawo. Then change. That's the very first song the on first the song. album. Yeah. That's maybe, a really good yeah, song. Yeah, and maybe... That's the, a really, really good And maybe the last song, Glory. 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 Right? I think Diana is going to be the lead single. And I think it should be. It's, well, it's, because it's Chris Brown. I, I mean, I, I, I... choice. But Chris Brown, though... I feel like Chris Brown is a low-hanging fruit these days. Um, I, I get why Chris Brown find himself, found, himself, found himself on the album. Personally, I wouldn't have put him. I would have put somebody else, personally. Yeah. But to be like honest... Who? Ooh, that's a good question. I I feel like I like who that especially when you're thinking about the album needing some sort of and also international a, an artist um, that an is urban 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 artist. international and also an urban artist who is who understands Afrobeat who, are, who understands Afrobeat who has knowledge of Afrobeat and the that should in the excellence of the song. Mm-hmm. But I'm not. Sh- I don't know if Chris Brown can make a chart success in Uganda anymore. Oh, for the song generally for the numbers. It sure. may not happen. For me, I don't think that's even the strongest song on the album. I think it's the strongest single worthy song. The Diana? Yeah. Hmm. I think so. It's not I, I, for me, I think Ashao do. Ashao is there, right? Then there's, like I said, Afro High Life again, but it depends on how... You can't push that Ashao song. Do you know why? MBC. Slut Shimmy, bro. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, Slut Shimmy. Yeah. That's what they will say. All of oh. us are Ashao, bro. No, but... No, 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 my no, fault. She be a shower. He also called himself a shower. He, he said we are all a shower. So it's yeah. not slush shaming. No, it wasn't slush shaming. He was normalizing promiscuity. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't slush shaming. That's, that's yeah. Final, that's, but it was promoting promiscuity. But Afro High Life, right? Is that song for me that really is, 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 is the closest to song. what the people out there consider as Afro beats? It's right? Afro beat. So that that's Afro beat. So him. I think even the 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 titling of that song may limit it. But it also may, it depends on how they market it, also be that thing that will be the catalyst to draw more conversations to what the song is actually about. The biggest problem, the only flaw with that song is is, is a general misappropriation in this title. Simple. That's the biggest, that's the only flaw of that song. Which one now? That's Afro High Life. It Afro depends Highlife. on if you see it as a flaw. I think it is a flaw. And, and also, the Ashawo song and ties into so the album in title of, being Playboy. No, we are going to get there. Yeah. In terms of, this, in terms of the, of the, 
enjoy enjoyability of the song it's not going to do anything it's not going to affect it yeah it's only people like me that are very finicky with genre appropriation mm-hmm. yes and also mm-hmm. the audience like, does not care yeah they don't mm-hmm. but they don't. my problem with that is and i think that's why they left it so but i think it's a problem because we already have a problem of genre misappropriation a lot of us, so the people who care about it are we, not enough to drive the conversation that, no, no no we don't even realize the damage we are doing now it's like the damage that we're doing when we're not allowing Africans to tell African stories. Mm. And now we're complaining about the kind of stories that people about are the telling. Of it. Yeah. Like imagine imagine the, the entire outcry with the Grammy thing, the Grammy description of Afrobeat. I'm like, what, what do you expect them to say? Because a lot of people got introduced to Afrobeat outside of Nigeria through those artists. The, art, the article was problematic because it shows that the person was ignorant, the person that wrote the article. Mm-hmm. But saying Afrobeat is a product of Amer- Black American music is not wrong. It's, so not like, wrong. it's, it's just a one-dimensional fact. That's my, that's my point that we can't even, we, we over here can call it ignorance. But from them, they're speaking from their own lenses because they wrote it from their perspective. Because so that's what story, you've been allowing them to say for you. a long time. Who gave us the Afrobeat name? It was it how us? many How many African... Uh, so... The problem with us planting wrong seeds is because in five, ten years we're going to regret it. And we we'll start complaining, but but complaining. but that's what it is. But that's what it is. That's what but, it is. But, that's what but, it but is. For me, nine point five. I don't know what you guys are saying. It's fine. Shout out to Fireboy. Did it got, shout shout out to Fireboy. Also, but Fireboy. the problem is also in terms of like I think the title of the album is also wrong. It's wrong. The Playboy title. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have named the Playboy. I don't think it's, that album is more. Again, there are similarities between that album and Love Dam. It's a victory lap. Mm. he's talking about where he's he now it's reflective yes. like my story yes. my success yes i'm stomping on you niggas like i take my mother to paris because i want to do it a day do you understand but at it's, the same time he's even, he's even saying that he's not he's even moving on a new level right yeah now, so. talking about yeah, he's talking yeah, about the reality saying, of yeah. being a superstar yeah, yeah. what he has to do, that's what do for, afro emo <laughs> <laughs> that's actually not a bad genre title by the way afro emo um no it's, it's not it's not it's, it's more reasonable than music. anything <laughs> Afro emo. apollo was fireboy saying oh, i'm achieving success but i still want to be on my own mm. that, that was apollo um you will leave me alone i'm a loner i just want to be in this house so I sleep. Finding, but now yeah. he's saying he's taking I'm money here. i'm out here for you niggas mm-hmm. i did for you yeah. be a shower, be a All of and that's shower. okay like bro so songwriting wise fireboy is and fireboy is saying don't break up with your girlfriend just because of cheating right they're just small cheaper. Sad. Let me tell you something from the book of LT2. Mm. <laughs> leave that man alone, please. Man. Don't, don't please leave that man Let alone. Me tell man. Please from the pre- in the prayer words of an Afrobeat. Abregi. Name Ayomide Tayo. That's something very toxic. Okay. Because LT2 is one of the most toxic Afrobeat. <laughs> Afrobeat OGs that that's I know. That's your personal problem. Oh, you're so toxic. Let me say something. See what's he You're speaking into the camera to talk to him. That's impact. <laughs> I'm sure you will see this. <laughs> Let me tell you, he says, if I cheat and you take me back, that's your personal problem. Problem. You see, you see, you say, but don't expect me to do this. What if you cheat? I'm not taking you. I don't. What don't? <laughs> you say, it's your own self esteem that made you take me back. My own self esteem is impact. <laughs> Our self esteem is not the same. Bro, it's Please, not the same. Don't judge me. You take me back. That's your own self esteem problem. That's your problem. That's your own problem. But if, I, if you cheat, we're done, bro. But, 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 but honestly speaking, though, I know that people like Tonani. And the, some people like to have conversations and say stuff like, oh, an artist's misbehavior does not translate to anything, even if you release a music and talk about it. I, I, I beg to disagree. I feel like constantly exhibiting bad behavior and thinking it doesn't matter because of your talent, I think it's going to catch up with you. Eventually, yes. I don't think it doesn't matter. Eventually, it does. Because we've yes. had a conversation around Kiss Daniel being one of the best in Nigeria when it comes to songwriting and music. And even when I'm talking about the great Ford, he's not really in that conversation. And it's like, why? Because the music is not questionable. Mm-hmm. But the brand is. So you cannot... I feel like the people need to understand that talent can take you as far as it can. But you also need some level of hard work and some level of <clears throat> character. If discipline, you're con- discipline. And discipline. Discipline. That's it. Discipline. If you're I mean, constantly did, in the news... It did news, catch up with him two years ago. It did. It was part of the problem for him. I mean, the, <clears throat> the industry can't keep rewarding bad behavior. No, no, it can't. It can't. Yeah, it, can't. I, I, it just seems like when people are trying to, at this point where people are trying to let go of the, all you have done in the past, in the past. you have supposedly done in the past, right? You're not giving people a reason to why. Remember all the shit. Why they should? Where they shouldn't yeah. even giving you the. Yeah, and it, it makes yeah. it it makes it difficult for people who say who advocate for second chance hmm. for people. Like hmm. like give this guy a second chance. Like it was. 
or a third chance in this in this case now what's the what's the what's the uh, what's the incentive to incentive do it? incentive to do it? what's the possibility that he's not going to fuck me over a mm-hmm. third time again and all that and these little things like this can just be that thing that will end your any serious i mean you may see drop you may see drop records i mean you, anybody can upload music from their house and everything but how just much continue. can you can it do for you in, in terms of legacy that's a fact you just made me realize something in the sense that good behavior and a good brand can sustain a, a bad patch in a career yes no when we talk about the music how much music does beyonce have out there that is like number one okay. um good music can sustain a bad patch mm-hmm. if you have bad reputation and brands already in tatters one bad thing we can do in everything everything goes goes away and you just you just find out that people you're doing stuff and people are not paying attention mm. because you lost them you lost that thing that would make them want to because it goes beyond your music <laughs> when somebody you 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 announce an event you announce it now if he announces the tour now people are skeptical to want to go because mm. you're not sure whether he's going to pull out he's going to come or not or if mm. he comes it's not going to be problematic one way or the other mm. You know, show promoters are thinking twice before they even book you now, mm. right? Mm. It's not even the cost of bringing you here now. Mm. If I bring this person here after passing all through the whole um, codes of bringing you, working out the schedule, you come and you know you you you, you, you don't even show up, or you give me an attitude before you show up, <laughs> or you eventually show up and put a put up his below par performance, mm. you know. Artists need to realize right now that they are not the only stakeholders in this whole mix, right? The fan, the concert goer is a stakeholder. The fans are the, the largest. The fan, the, so the fan is the largest They're stakeholder. The largest, yeah. Right? If there's no fan for you anymore, your career is gone. You, you just as best be <coughs> a streaming artist. Hmm. Because people cannot tell if if people do and not how have much how much do you even can you even make off streaming after all your deals have yeah. collected all your money mm-hmm. and everything you probably just be the like, fans are the most that the that the that the most bankable the fans are the most important yes they're the most bankable they're the ones you need the most because with them you are assured of certain benefits do you understand but so if you it, keep disappointing the fans here's here's a, here's how I like to rationalize it yeah and a lot of people disagree with me but it's just a fact. The fans are the only reason anybody has it. Anybody it has a career. Industry has a career. I don't understand. What do my people try to disagree? No, some people try to disagree. So, so I'm who? Say, some people think I'm rude whenever I say this shit like this. Do you understand? But the fans no, are the reason you are here. They are the reason why you are here. If you were not here, the fans would be listening to something. I don't understand. Is there the, they're the most important something. part of don't the conversation? Record. Don't, don't record. record. They're fine. Don't record. Do you understand? Mm. <laughs> no, if you don't, don't record, record, they are fine. <laughs> but did you? If you even need without, the fans without more. you, without the fans, you are nothing. Yes, you without need you, the fans, the fans are more. Great. Yes, because we have talent. As you, are you Opa. joking? Opa. Oh, ju, 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 ju. So you even need the fans, and, and that's plays. and that's even one thing. <laughs> <In a shake. laughs> so then we were having this conversation. I think was it off air or something? We were talking about how the other stakeholders they need to understand their importance and their relevance. Yeah, I, I'm I'm so tired of that conversation where people try to make it look like, in the grand scheme of things, in the entire like circle. Mm. like the in the whole mix in the whole mix the circle and everything the artists are the most important people there and i'm like no i, I beg to disagree they they carry they will some the, some amount of power but they're not the most important people in the circle the, the people that are putting the money the fans that are listening are very very important because trust me talent poor lots of problems that most talents have is lack of funding and, lo- and lack of opportunity if you think that you're not replaceable are you joking it's not even like before where are like, you joking where, it's not even like before where so brands also need to understand that you have the power it's your money the, the system needs your money the artists they need do you understand brand there's, fans, always, another have, art, there's always another there's artist. another artist there'll always be another artist so there's why would you pay for show and artist. be begging for are you artist, why you, are you, you doing you, that you spend you spend 50 million there a hundred million there pay artists and to come and do brand you now start you now start begging them to post to come out to post to post and it, like all those things, ah. like you said earlier, if you no, beg artists to pay if, producer, if I embed, you, you if, I, if I embed that, you are going to give me five posts from post event posts. Or let me after the, we finish the event, we do a, we do a one minute whatever for Instagram reel or whatever this they call it these days, and 
part of the contract say you are going to post it and you know post them you can't feel me after i know do the show you go feel them because i'll come for you because you don't know what i need KPIs, those five you need to hit your kpis you don't know what i need those five posts for yes my kpi is it's bro. my kpi my kpi so it's, we, it's, it's we, and we it's that to, deep i don't know who said this so i asked that most important but please so it's a it's the result of a reward system that the world in advance has created the world yeah so because the artists are like the focal point of the work that everybody's doing hmm. and they're the focal point of the adulation of the fans because whatever they released which are the focal points of which is a result of the work of a lot of people do you understand mm. yeah they are the ones that are now the mouthpiece of that to the fans what the fa- oh, my music is an emotional process when artists, when fans are attached to the music mm. they attach to another, another song they at- get attached to the artist so because of that the world then attributes an importance to artists which sometimes can be unreasonable just, a lot of times it's very they're just a channel of an expression, expression of, of, of a lot of, people. lot of people do you understand thank you they are, they are the expression of a lot of people. of a lot of people yes. and a lot of hard work yes right and <clears throat> so because of that brands a lot of th- people have grown to be subservient to them mm. yep and because of that shout out to artist managers and then they suffer wow. <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> they, a lot of artists now don't understand how to rein it in because society rewards them for some of the weird, weird things yep they say it's so personality it's just what I, th- <laughs> I think it's just i think it's the only thing the, the one place where i think it should change is especially is the brand situation i think you should really change the brand situation i think brands need to learn to stop being subservient to artists i'm not talking about like companies i'm talking about brands that like products but put the you, money um, behind these people because look the money from the artist doesn't exactly come from it it mostly comes from brandies and touring brand. it comes from you so you need to understand that you they need you more than you need them so stop acting around the corner and actually make them do the work that they signed the contract for bro like just do the work do the work show up by seven o'clock please show up and i also think i also think it's a nigerian thing no it's not because no th- let me give you instances okay I, I think it's a nigerian thing because i see that outside of nigeria these guys w- these guys see, come see, through. see will smith apologizing for slapping someone on stage if it were in nigeria he won't if he won't have to apologize it's changing now how so because people are apologizing for bad shows. Yes, but I'm saying that if, if if someone at the level of Will Smith, if we had a Will Smith in Nigeria and he did that, people will ask me to, to tell him he doesn't need to apologize. But, but, but see, there's a dynamic to that in the sense that... See, Will Smith, from that night, I started collecting. No, there's a dynamic to that again. Yeah. In the sense that in America and the situation of Will Smith, um, there's a synergy or a, a flywheel of all the avenues. Um, award media, mm-hmm. um, companies, capitalism, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? If you offend one in particular situations and it affects your image and your brand, it's just, it's, it they all work hand in hand. It cascades, 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 yeah. yes, it cascades, right? yes. But in Nigeria, they're different. There is nothing. They're not. They're not intertwined. They, no, no, no. No pro- pro- structure is even standing on its own. First, that's what I'm saying. They're not intertwined. Everybody's so there's a, there's everybody's no hosting their thing individually. Mm, yes. Synergy or yes. that flywheel. Yep. So if someone offends somewhere, it might not affect them somewhere else. Yup. Yep. yep. In short, the next, the next, if you offend this brand, your rival brand will go. We just, you bro. Just to the point that. Sure. sure. Maybe fifty million they give you for. I'll take give you hundred. No, can't take two hundred. Exactly. And they'll not post on their distance. So just to bugger the other person. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so like it's 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 but do you think he was do you think Smith should have apologized he should have he should i think have. he should have long even long before long now. before he, he apologized no he apologized immediately after no no the video he just the apologized video. made a video oh. apologize uh yeah put he out apologized f- before now no, no he did not he never did he never did this is this is his first this is statement his first did. social media outing since that time he never did. Put out a video apologizing, and he addressed some things where he spoke about how yeah, he, he answered Chris Rock that he said he even reached out to Chris Rock, and Chris Rock said he wasn't going to talk. He's not that ready he to talk. He's not ready that to when he's to ready, he will let him know that he's not ready to talk. And like he also said, he also answered the question that people were asking about um if the wife was Jada influencing it. That people said that it was because Jada looked at him in a certain way, he felt the need. So, and he said that that's not true. It's like, a lie. I, I personally, I think it's a lie. It wasn't a Jada thing that's about him. Uh, bro, wh- why else about you do it? Him. Who else was it about you? Was it about him? That's that's a very weird explanation for it. So. Does it, 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 <laughs> it didn't even think I didn't even think he needed to explain that part. Nah, so. it, it should have left it. 
It was a crap. It was it was it was because a thing of was passion. Like, that was like the core of the whole thing. Of the entire thing. I defending see, my wife's honor. Yeah. yeah, but I, th- I think what he was trying to do is trying to get people to not make it about Jada. Or stop bashing Jada. Because I think, but, I think but it wasn't he was needed. People are going to bash Now anyway. you have opened the kind of worms again. Again, people are going to bash anyway. They didn't continue. They continue that. Just leave it alone. Just speak to the man and speak to the man. Apologize, apologize and forget everything else. And Chris Rock said he's not he's not ready to talk right now. So. I mean, Chris Rock was he, he didn't even talk about on that Kevin Hatch Kevin Hatch show. He, mm. I don't. I think he was more stunned than anything. I think he was very surprised. He didn't see it coming. He was stunned. He was. Um, he was very stunned. And to be honest, I don't think he should be embarrassed Shook. about it. That's too far from me. I think the only person that, okay. that should be, I think the only person that should be embarrassed is Will Smith. We're good. Um, because now, I, you you know what? I don't even. Let's be honest. It's, I don't think there's embarrassment. I don't think like it's all of this is that not conversation. As, 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 I I, as I also think that I think that it played out for too long. Yeah, That's I think it was it took, it took too. It long was dragged for, for too long. Not even not even to, to apologize. To apologize. Yeah, no, like I think no. I think circles. he has even been trying to apologize previously because he mentioned he has been trying to reach out to Chris Rock and he didn't listen. I think the entire thing, the entire conversation went on for too long. Yeah, because Will Smith responded in the heat of the moment. Do you understand? I'm sure if he had taken some minutes to think about it, he wouldn't have done that. Because he's also not even someone known for bad behavior. Do you understand? And coming from Will Smith, there's perspective to it. And also the fact that he was talking about his wife. I don't feel like they should have just, I don't know, settled all of that drama outside. So, I don't think it was that. Um, first of all, he overreacted. Because I don't think Chris Rock knew about the alopecia. I don't think he overreacted. I, no, I think he did. I think he definitely he certainly did. did. Definitely did. Definitely. Bro, he's a comedian. Bro, he's a comedian. Oh, Smith is actually a comedian. He's a comedian. Who are you talking about now? Smith. Will Smith. Oh, okay. Yes, of course he is. He's yes. a comedian. Yes. He understands the rules of this shit. That's why he's apologizing now. Okay, guys. Now, after you can go meet him and say, bro, that was off the line. No, bro. just tell him that, oh, the wife bro. has alopecia. Then he, he can actually take it. That him. alopecia made the news. Everybody knew. He possibly could not have. It's possible that I didn't know. You have that your Melo- entire, Melody, how long? Melody, Melody, ha- Melody, you know many things I don't know. Ah, these and are I friends. Work- these are guys. Bro, and friends, I work they in know this- each other. No, they don't know. That's not fair. Hmm? They don't. They don't know. They don't know of you, Smith. No, no, I don't no. know of that particular, that particular thing. But it made the news. Melody, it doesn't mean. Melody, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me not bust your head. I knew about that shit just three days before that event. But you knew. That's the three thing. days before. Should I know three days before? For and someone that works in media. Sure. I watched, I watched, I saw when so Jada announced see, it. See, another thing, another reason why, they are, I think another problem that they need, people, they also have a, a fake sense of responsibility in that family. I'm sorry. That's Will Smith. Yeah. Hmm. Look, one of the reasons why this shit is, your family has become a big circus is because you people make, made it a big circus. Yes. You made your marriage the talk Over of Over sharing. Society. Yep. Mm-hmm. I agree. 100 on that you one. You did that to yourself. Like why you demystified yourself unnecessarily. I agree You guys one. were... For content. I bro, for content. That was unnecessary. For content. For content. Ah, and now you, you expect... Look, there is a knock-on effect for everything. I agree. Consequences. Always. Good and usually, bad. bro, usually when things like this happen... You are going to find yourself bearing the brunt of it because you might see that thing was a, a was was the result of a lot of pent up anger. That's who now. Will Smith. I agree. A lot of resentment. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. I think he's he just has been tired. Dragged. He's just yes, no. yes. He's tired of and it. He loves the woman still, regardless of what the woman did or whatever the fuck what they were going they through. What did? I think like it was a regardless. Thing. B- but to be honest, who made their marriage the talk of society? It was hard. She though. did. It was hard though. August situation. Bro, that was it wasn't even who her. It was August that it was the side guy. No, 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 no. We're talking no. about who, who's August, the August is one incident. We're talking yeah. about Red the entire Pro, like Red Table Talk, Red Table Talk, all of it, whatever, so everything oversharing generally, oversharing, gener- oversharing. But even the August thing, Melo, the, the only reason why August because it was an open secret. Everybody knew in the industry. Yes, they were taking pictures. We were going to red carpet together. Niggas just, knew. It was weird. It was weird. Yeah, I agree. Like. I'm telling you because way before it came out, a lot of people had been talking about it. Yes, it was in the news now. It was low. It was low key. But but why was because August was going about singing song about it and doing the most. Are you the first person to no, knock that, an older that one, woman? That nigga. What kind of nonsense is that? It was moving funny. V- moving very let's, funny. Let's, let's, let's yes. Fast. The, the women, the women that Will Smith was, was rumored funny. to have been with, they've never spoken about it before publicly. Let me tell you something, my people. See, in your life, don't don't knock forty plus women, bro. <laughs> I'm t- bro. bro. Tell you. Sing. <laughs> don't, don't. 
Put your hands in the air. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why. I. That's why I'm always just laughing when I see young. When I see women complain about you know the fact that oh they're getting older and sex and I'm like for for women the sex gets better as you get older. Bro, you're more experienced. You're better. Bro, Bro. you're from experience. No, I'm just. (laughs) Fuck you. You're more confident. Your your body is. Is you know your body. You know your you body. Know, you're killing shit in your own. There's, there's this confidence that there's this allure that comes with getting older as a woman. Why are you scared of doing that? Because even younger boys are now even trying to link up with older yeah, women. Facts. It's weird when you're facts. you're like in your late twenties or and you see younger boys of early twenties trying to move to you and you're like, bro, I'm your mama, and they'll be like, that's what we want. So Melody, please, I mean, let me ask you this one. Yeah, now. who's the youngest person that has it? Y- no, <laughs> have you had a crush on a younger person before? Never. For real. Younger guy. Yeah. Never in my life. Wow. Like, you knew he was younger. I have never liked a younger boy. Why would I? Has a younger person moved to you before? Yes, of course. How did you handle it? I'm just like, from where to where? Did you, did you, did you? I always tell them. I'm your mama. I always say, I'm not your mate though. I How did it take time. it? There's one guy that I used to tease. He, he's younger than me. I think he was just, I don't know, one year or two years. He really liked me and everything. And every time we're having a conversation, I'm always like, the I'm like, I'm not your mate, please. I feel like, like, why do you do this every time? Like, if I'm just about something random, yeah. then maybe he's now saying something, and maybe I'm like, I'm not your mate. You see, you see, you, see, you can't even get over the age thing in your head. Because what did I, what did I say that? Wait, so you, you can't do that. You're doing, you're doing it. I have. You're doing it. Were you doing it intentionally? Just subconsciously. Because I'm always like, smart, and I was like, because I'm, always, because of, I'm talking. To, I'm not your mate, yeah. please. please, 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 please. I mean, <laughs> fair enough. It was not intentional, but some, some people are like that. I just found myself always doing like I'm on your mates, please. But he was he was he was even mature. But I just like. So do you know why men prefer older women? Tricks, correct me. You... Do you prefer older women? Um, uh... I thought you guys just what, what happened? What changed? You guys used to like them really fresh and. Really... That's not true. Ah, uh, uh, you ah. Uh, uh, That's not true. Like, fresh. like Jimmy and men, we talk about how it is. You have to cut them young. Maybe when they are so it's because we are also 20s, be, it's, it's also because we are, it's also because we are young men. Do you understand? Yeah, we are young men, so we've been dating young women all our lives. Younger women or women in your circle? Young women. Okay. So o- women who are old enough to have sex. Yes, of who course. Are still very young. Yeah, maybe like, like early twenties. Early twenties, mid twenties, late twenties. But me, mostly until recently, until like. Three years ago, I've mostly been with older women all my life. Yeah. Because I, l- I also look older than I am. And, and I feel that? like the conversation and the perspective is different. One, the hustle of... So, the hustle of a of an older... A, an older woman is likely to have a job mm-hmm. and responsibilities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and she wouldn't need that as much ascension as a younger person. Sure. So, she understands how to love you through that prison. How to take... How you can take care of each other through those busy schedules. Whereas a younger woman is piling on pressure. She wants you to call her every day. She wants to call her three times a day. She has a... She has, so, so, someone destroyed her call. So, so Someone passed down the road. She's calling you. Oh my God, babe. You can't believe someone just passed me on the me. road. snubbed me. Bro, you understand? But another woman <laughs> just... She just wants to hear yeah. your problems. I, 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 you guys are just ridiculous. No, 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 no. Even no. women that are older, that are maybe like late twenties or whatever, early you call 20s their boy, or their younger boyfriend to be complaining. She, she, will, she will call her girls. Yes, Facts. but no, but you will still talk to your boyfriend about sex. No, that's a lie. She See. will call her girls. See, that's a See. lie. Another woman will realize that you'll be busy at this time and not call you for unnecessary uh, things. Mm. You don't. Know, yes, I agree. Won't call you as much. As someone that does not have a job, that's not no, working. You guys, you know, you guys will obviously talk about. Yeah, yeah. you guys talk about all these but, things, no, you guys but not in the heat of the moment. Of... But see, a younger woman will know that you are busy and will still be expecting you to talk to them. How, Melody? Like, call it, how does you, it work? You know, you know my rap shit, so don't go. I'm telling you. I know you. what you're saying. Yeah, true, true. Okay, what I'm what, what I'm trying to say is, you cannot even deny as men that at some point you guys did not prefer like way younger women. I don't I don't understand no. why are you put lying. No, way young. No, no. No, that's, that's a lie. That never no, Jesus Christ, men never used to like like women in their early twenties. Bro, 20, 20, older no. women have always been no. fascinating to young young no. men. That's a lie. No, hey, um, Kelvin, don't when ask you who is young, Kelvin. Who older women, you guys always want to date young girls. Ask people. Early twenties. All the men in this early room. Tw- oh. Bro, are you serious? <laughs> I, I thought guys used to prefer like early twenties, like twenty one, twenty two. No. Exactly. Oh, the men in their forties. Exactly. Fifties would prefer like a sm- younger, yeah. younger woman. Oh, but guys that in their twenties want to date. Exactly. Exactly. Like 
I, I'm 22 now. I'm looking for a 25 year old. Bro. Hey, oh. That's the dynamic for men. <sighs> this is the first time I'm hearing that one, but okay. I, I used to think that men used to like, why are they like nah, 21, 22? Nah. No, the because norm is, the norm is dating your age. That's dumb now. Age, right? Yeah. That's but dumb now. the aspiration is, so, let me put it like that, the aspiration is somebody older. Older. For the men. Yes, no. Because they're more fast, they're, they're more fascinating. How do? You, but you guys don't struggle with convincing your family member you're dating an older. You're not. You're not trying to marry. You're just dating. You're twenty. So, for, but when you're trying, no, you're no, no, no. To. So I'm saying that when no, not even twenty. So I'm talking about like older guys that are like ready to get married in their 28, 29, 30. That's what not kind the problem now. Will you still date girls in that circle? That's not the problem. Or if you date I, a younger girl. If that was the person I, I fell in love with, I wanted to spend my life with. Yes, I know a couple of people that are married. So older, older, older women. Older women. Oh. Ah. Yeah, like easily, I know at least three people. So I used to think that men, like men, are always trying to date like girls in their twenty one. Nah, I'm trying to marry those. Girls. I mean, some sugar, men are like sh- that. Sh- don't, don't, no, don't, not sugar daddies. I'm talking about regular, no regular that men. Means. That's not true. I mean, so, regular men that are married or what? Trying to get married now. I don't think so. They are looking for a younger. right, not younger. What's not, younger? Not men in my circles at least. Twenty one, twenty. No, 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 no. So a older guy, like forty now, is probably looking for someone. The youngest is probably 30, looking for is between 28 yeah. to 30. He's not yeah. seriously looking for a 21. You know why? Because... But men in their 30s, uncle. It's not men 21, 22. You might, you might marry someone that's 35. Oh. Things are Bro, changing. Nothing. It was always like this. Eh? I know people who their father, their mom is older than their, their, father. their father. So it's not even in 2000 and 2010... Uh, it's what it is now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I didn't know, but I, I just used to think that you know men. Would like I mean, so you are, you are looking at it from the prism of like sugar daddies. Maybe. That's what you are looking at it from. Maybe. But this, you know, I'm not even talking about sugar daddy like, thing now. Regular men. See, it's fascinating for okay. I'm not just like women used to love dating older men when we're young. When we're young. Men also because. You are women in your age. You are you are not done with them. They probably, they are probably, all of them are probably not interested in you. In you, the fact that you can get an older mm-hmm. woman—that's why I say aspiration. It's an aspir- exactly, it's an aspirational thing. Like you have a career woman, like, bro. That's all over you. That loves you. That loves you. That's bro. taking care Big of flex. you. Big flex, bro. Bankuli. <laughs> <laughs> bro, but, but yeah, so, but shout out to, to us, yeah. Don't date forty plus women because you know why? They are the easiest to be with. No pressure. They will listen to your problems. They will give you quality, quality, quality sex. I wanna go. Oh. <laughs> Bro, there is no way you won't fall in love because everything is bad: emotional, sexual, physical. Bro. But those men that are married to those women who are in their forties, do they have the same experience? Because you need to understand that those men have been married to those women for like twenty years. So Stephen is has entered. No, because love fades and attraction fades. Respect in, is what keeps. You're going. Love fades. One thousand percent. Love, fades. sexual attraction fades. Yeah, of course, you're having the same person. Let life. me tell you, one person, one person, one person said, "Show me, show me an attractive man or woman, and I'll show you someone who's tired of fucking them." Huh? That's the person who has been consistently fucking the same person. It's unlikely. That's why you put need to spice this up. Role play. Role play. Pain yeah. on each other. Uh, Between the person's nyash. Bro. Santa Maria. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro. You cannot be doing Let's, the same thing every time, do that. Wow, bro. Chooks has the wildest hard lips in the world. Don't do that. Yeah, that like, but, no, but truly, you can't be doing the same sexual style and doing the same thing. Like, try the man's ass. The man try the woman's ass. No, do try us. different things. This is not about me, please. Let's not make it. Ass. Let's not make it. Hey, hey, Mel- Mel- it's it's a very it. simple question. Kelvin. <laughs> Okay. Wow. No, when you say when you say big bomb bomb, Kevin, if you want to insult me, insult me directly now. When you say eat someone with big yeah, bomb bomb, we can leave you here. Don't say don't do that. If you want to insult me, insult me directly. Yeah, we didn't say yeah. someone with big bomb bomb. We say Melody, eat. We Melody say Melody eat collect. ass. Don't. Yeah, What's what up, bro? I don't have big bomb bomb. I've heard you. I'm Move on. You. Anyways, ah, I feel like. Sex is overrated. Not really. Yeah. So here's the thing. Mm. It's sex um, overrated. Really. I think it's important though. Hey, hey. It's co- ah, no, hey. No, I don't no, think no, sex no, is overrated no, though. 
So what, what 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 I think you need to, what I think you so want to say for people that, that did not hear him, we have someone here. Sorry, yeah, that's yeah. them background. There's someone here that said sex is overrated, but he's like in the At background. The back. But what I think is also that it's not that sex is overrated. It's just that a marriage shouldn't be based on the idea of great sex. Mm-hmm. Should not be the yeah. should not be the major should, yeah. not, should not be the, the only reason you get married yeah. to someone. I think yeah, but I think great sex, sex is fine. Yeah. yeah, but I even think I was talking to a friend of mine. Greater friendship. Who has been married successfully? Ah, now. hello, the boss. Great sex is fine. But greater, greater friendship, friendship is yeah. Friendship. She did go. She's smart Cook, sometimes. Cookies. I mean, <laughs> more more focus on no getting us. I guess <laughs> self deprecation. <laughs> Cookies. That's what. Oh my god. Anyway, um, so, so your friend has been married. We're talking yeah, about yeah, your friend. Yeah, she, she was telling me that, like two months ago, six, five months ago, she was saying, "Tolani, let me tell you something. I've been proper laid. Do you understand? Like, like she has saying, been getting fucked. I've been getting. I've, I've been. Pa, like, pa, in my life, was a girl, I've, right? Yeah, a girl. I've now she's married with a with a kid. Like I've been proper laid. I've been. I've dated some of the richest men. Of mm. the richest guys in Lagos. Hmm. And she was telling me that. But when you get to a point, you realize that yes, all those things are nice. But you need a life partner. Mm. Someone that you want to build with. Someone you want to have children with. Yeah. And someone that can see help you get to the next phase of your life. Mm. Because she says a lot of women were not born with the animal instinct to know how to chase their dreams. So sometimes they need good partners mm. that will push it out of them. And I was like, wow. That's I think that makes sense because a lot profound. of time, I, yeah, because I, I don't necessarily think that it's these women not wanting to chase dreams. Because for, for the longest, women have heard that you're supposed to have ambition, but not too much of it. Yeah. So it has been passed down generation to generation. Yeah. So, so women just get to a particular point. Ambition. What is the ambition of a woman? They, they've been told that ambition is just to get married. Married and actually. So now you. You're ambition, now, get married, raise. Raise nice children. children, godly family, so <laughs> respectful children. Respectful. And I thank God I got it. <laughs> pump, pump. <laughs> but of course, when you now, so so, lots of women actually grow up with that mindset of I shouldn't dream too much. I shouldn't dream too much. But when, but now we have a nation of women who are like, fuck that shit. I'm going to get everything I need to get. I'm, I'm going to make all the money and everything. But sometimes they are also too scared to aspire or to even dream that big. But when you now have someone that's like, why can't you dream that? Be like, ah, I can't dream. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, let's go. Yeah. Let's go let's there. Do you understand? Yeah. Let's go yeah. there. Do you understand? So it's weird when it's always very cool when people expect a woman to have certain issues and the person she's with is like, oh, that's cool. Just do you. So long as you're cool, then you're fine. Let's go. Do you understand? So that let's go is all the push that. Let's go. Let's do this. So, I mean, it gets to a point where it, 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 it can't be all about you can't, it can't be can't, like no. it, it cannot be Every, all those things they fade man it but, can't be all but about I, but sex that's, that's one of the things that makes this marriage thing very scary to me yep it can't because be. <sighs> look <clears throat> i'm from a family of people that cheat <laughs> yes, sir. oh my god is the admission for me is it? like i don't know one man in my family that doesn't cheat is the introspection <laughs> mm, Bless uh, me. I, was, I was already there so what, what about you I mean, I've only been in one relationship in my adult life, and I did cheat. You did? I didn't. Okay. I didn't cheat. Okay. Close to a year, I tried. Okay. That's stupid. Close to a year, you tried. Coming from where I was coming from. <laughs> <laughs> you need to big up yourself. Bro! You see, even if nobody don't tell you, your man Even though. Even though. Now, I'm man, I be. You see, and <laughs> because, I had to, bro, I think uh, the, the, the toughest thing about that relationship was the fact that but the best thing about this was because I knew what I wanted. I knew this was what you wanted. I didn't want to ruin it for anything in the world. And I also think that it's beautiful, like what Alani said, it's, it's important for you to know where you're coming from. Yeah. And to know why you want to make a difference. Yeah. Because you can't continue to fall into the same circle of... Of... Events. Of events and expect a different reaction. Yeah. If you saw your parents... if you, I feel, I feel like people go through things to be able to learn to be better. Yeah. Do you understand? You saw your parents... You, you come from a home where your mother was maybe absent or your father was absent or your or non challenged parents or you know your aim should be your aim should be, aim should be, be to, to bring be present yeah. in your fa- your children's life. Do you yeah. understand? Mm-hmm. You saw how Because cheating, you were deprived of you were deprived yeah. of those sorts of yeah. things. You saw how cheating reun I've seen cheating reun families. Bro. Tear down Bro. families. Mm. I've I've mm. and you're like Bro. all of that for this. Bro. It's literally like you literally work this hard to do this. 
So do you I want really, to aspire to be better or not? Because it's literally I, I, just I sex. I really don't. I really hope that that never happens. To um, you, right? I, I think that's what we see. But the thing is, no matter how amazing your wife is, if you're a successful man, it's very hard. Well, but it's discipline. And also, we have successful no, women. It's easier said than... No, than but we have successful women who but, are disciplined. But you need to understand that, number one, the story of cheating women is not as told as women. There are a lot of women who cheat. <laughs> I hear that. That's one. And number two, f- the psyche of a man and the psyche of a woman are totally different. Mm-hmm. A man, a man's polygamous nature is is enabled by society. Yes, it is. I agree. That's what I'm saying. That it's not even a. That's it's why I disagree when men say it is difficult not to. Because I'm because <clears throat> I'm telling you that it's not a biology thing. It's a mental thing. It's a society thing. If you can get past society telling you certain things. Then why can't it's she melody, that's do that? That's easier said than done. Do you, but my point again is that it's not a biology thing; it's a mentality and a society thing. It's like women getting past society telling them that you shouldn't work. Melody, what, what, what? If we were to revel in what society told us, <coughs> women won't be working. Melody, what are human beings without social engineering? That's my point. So society like teaches past you social engineering. most of the things. That yes, you can I, agree. Like, yeah. I agree. I agree. I feel like it's, this it's, is it's just social easy. engineering. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy because actually. put your prick in your trousers. I say it's not easy. Bruh. Don't stress me, please. Afro beats chairman. Afro body called Afro beats bulletproof. What? Pew pew, but wait, I miss your days of risky interviews. Risky articles. That time, now we wait like don't do a play, but everybody does wait like this. Wait when wait when write a review. The first night, do I just scroll? To see the comments. I want to see that ratings first. Is it four point something? Because now they go collect. After the races, I'll now go back to the breakdown of the kidney. Oh my god. But yes, um, shout out to the artists and the conversation around this, you know, performance thing. Yeah. And um, you know, generally you talking about the Will Smith thing and, and trying to say that he overreacted. We cannot deny the fact that we live in a time where people are asking for changes. Take for Beyonce, the Beyonce album now. Don't listen. Yeah, yeah she hasn't listened, but album. somebody really she gets in dragged us. for you know, using a, a certain word on her album mm. that people found offensive I, and she's saying that she's going back to change it. That, that, but that's I, the time I, I that we're living. Yes, I agree. But that's the I, time we're living. I saw the news leaving. on that, but... I like... Now, I, trust me, if she does it, everybody who has a problem with different set parts of your lyrics will ask you, the, even Monique why you don't remove that one? Uh-huh. Monique, I saw the Monica Lewinsky mm-hmm. asking mm-hmm. her, why are you mm-hmm. referencing me mm-hmm. with my own name also? Mm-hmm. These and everything. So you have never... Even... But this is, this is happening because Beyonce put herself out to be a liberal champion. Put herself out to be what? A to be a champion of liberalism. See, people Melody are just holding I, out to the Melody standards. Can't argue that. Yeah, that's what that's what the that's the problem. That's what the she problem wanted is. to go up Fam, behind. If it was Kanye, Ka, 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 Ka post today. Did you guys see Kanye's post today? About Peter. About Bro, Peter, I'm headed there now. Kanye is a fucking mad person. Bro, I'm breaking up. Is that is that Skit Davison dead at twenty eight or something? I'm like, what? <laughs> wow, that's such a wild Kanye thing to do. Is crazy. That's such a wild thing. And that's his first post in like a long time. But you're taking it down. Yeah, you're taking it down. Sorry. Oh, what's up with that? What's up with what do you guys think about the whole situation between Pete the, Davidson and Pete and Oh that's that oh that's Pete. Oh that's Pete. That's Pete's issue. Wait, you guys see Shalamis. Shalamis. Shalam, you guys took a watch out play for you after this episode. Shalamis. <laughs> what did he say now? <laughs> Kaya was moving bad. Yeah. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I went, I saw it. I went, I went to a breakfast club. I was like, say, well, bro, I know what your problem is, bro. I know what is really paining you. And it was not played. He's too big. He said, whoa, he's too <laughs> wide. Do you, know, do, you, do, you, do you know that women, do you know women in the US actually go on to date Pete Davidson over conversations? You know how women tell somebody, okay, so women tell somebody, oh, that boy can fuck well. Mm. Or his dick is big, and other women start wanting him. That's mm. what happened with David Davidson. That's why he has dated a couple of women. Like that, the bodies on that guy, though. That he has a big dick, so women just <laughs> go there to do that. Yeah, is it why you should why are you shaking your head? But you guys do the same thing now. Talk about women that have sweet pussy, and you guys chase. No, I don't know. Do, we don't, don't do so. You, you guys don't do referrals. Don't do such. <laughs> Have you ever seen one woman being passed around us before? Actually, I've never. Exactly. Don't do uh, such. But guys. <laughs> When I've seen my guys and they be pulling bodies, so don't worry. I, that's that's fake. But you pull bodies, you're an, uh, uh, you're that's, an excel. You guys are. That's fake. You are. Ah. Uh, Thank God, damn. Uh, Chuck's another guy. Chuk. Ah. 
No, Chooks is a take home to mama guy. Ah. Anyway, so back to Fiji. <laughs> 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 but thank you. <laughs> so wait, I, saw, I, saw, I, saw, I saw this. Thank you. I saw this. You know what they go? <laughs> Boys are bad. I, they want to knock a yes. tired. <laughs> I saw this image where, where somebody tweeted how you want to have a good life. You are dating an industry nigga. Thank God I'm not an industry nigga. Uh, uh, but Shuk is not an industry nigga. Now. I'm, not an industry an industry nigga. I'm not an industry nigga. So, like, I'm not an industry nigga. nigga. Uh, yeah, custodian. Now. So I always wonder how you get women. Got your custodian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will come beat <laughs> That's my nigga. That's my, my, my wife, Nigeria. He is. He is. My wife, you need to come on this podcast. I, I need to even ask the ladies the the worst women need to tell us the worst part or the worst arm of the industry that they've dated. Because I don't know who is wilder than the, is it artists or no artists are definitely crazy. No. Artists, I think the wildest. No, artists, you know what you are getting when into it comes when to you're dating. Yeah, the you know what you are getting into, but. Yeah. So, I didn't know good homely artists like take home to like artists that making you know. in Domia stuff where you make up in the <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? I don't know. What am I supposed think? to do? No, I mean, Buju just... look, looks like he's going to I, be I would, I would, I would, I would date a Johnny Drill. Hmm. That nigga looks like Bebo, my guy. Looks like what? He looks like Commodore Bebo. No. Johnny Drill looks like a kind of Because he's singing. That you're goes, not no. single. He talks about My God. guy. No, he talks about no. God. You will he cry. He talks about his parents. Johnny, you will cry bro, blood. Johnny is Jesus baby. This yeah? is Jesus baby. Jesus baby. I know what I'm saying. The world where pastors are moving mad. <laughs> Imagine you living something like a boy. He's a Jesus baby. Like a Johnny Jew. He's a Jesus baby. Like a Johnny Jew. Johnny Jew. Show us receipts. He's a Jesus baby. I don't believe. He's not out here drilling. He's drilling. <laughs> Jesus baby <laughs> or downstream, <laughs> downstream so, so I, I think a Johnny G will make a good I think a Johnny G will make a good boy <laughs> downstream <laughs> the captains of the downstream, downstream industry <laughs> I actually think Johnny G will make a good boyfriend mm, I think else, so else, else, else. Um, I think Buju will be a sweet boy Buju yeah he looks like a sweet boy to women Buju looks like a sweet boy but problematic not necessarily problematic, but I think you get a lot of bodies. It's a super bro. It's a superstar. It's a super mega bro. star, and he's always going to be on the road. Is Buju going to take his girl on the road with him every time he's on the road? I think he looks like a lover boy. That will take his girl. I, I look, don't know. It looks like a lover Is boy. Buju a lover boy. It looks emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Ruga uh, would have been the boy. Ruga, but they, they've, 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 <laughs> which Ruga? Which Ruga? Which Ruga? Which Ruga? <laughs> <laughs> Ruga is small, but my Ruga. Thing is, Snapchat. <laughs> hey, nah, Mr. Wee Wee. All those boys now come on the bebo. Exactly. <laughs> I, 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 for me, I would, if I, if, if I would, I would say Johnny Drill. For me, I think Ladipo looks like a Swiss boy. Yeah. Mm. I mean, yeah, he's Ladipo. married. Ladipo so. actually looks like a Swiss I mean, boy was, too. We never heard he was out here. We have never heard his out here story. Bonner yeah. boy looks like that as well. Even though he looks like come on the bebo. Bonner boy. He's like it's all, boy. It's very emotional. It's, Bruna boy was in the news last year for how many women? This one was dragging. This one was saying that he's my lover. Are you but serious? That teen waste girl. Are you joking? Yeah. yeah what's that name? So? Was, Are you joking? I mean, he was treating the girl like a girlfriend. Eh. Uh-huh, so why we say Jenna Bruna boy will give you? Eh. Uh-huh. Why you say Bruna boy will give you peace of mind? I'm talking about boys that you won't, you won't have to worry about. There's no artist that you have to worry about. Johnny Gio, I think Johnny Gio. You won't ah. have to worry about Johnny Gio. Have you been to a Johnny yeah, Gio right. show before? Have you been to a Johnny Gio show before? I have. Yeah, it's to people as melody. <laughs> have you been? Have you been to a John Drew show before? Yes, I am. Oh my beautiful! Love. It's always ah! about love. Are no, you no, joking? No, no, no. Let me tell you something. The biggest garden of love, women, women of bodies at cons- in concert culture Lagos in Lagos concert culture is John Drew. No, but the kind of women that go to John Drew concert are the kind of women that want to live happily ever after with their boyfriend. Bro, I'm saying bodies. Yes, but the bodies that want to be in love. I don't, bro. I don't care. Bodies. You can't compare the bodies that Johnny Drew's concert to the boys that are be moving bra. Melody. Johnny Drew girls don't remove I bra. I don't care if they are removing bra. I'm saying they're going down. Bodies. <laughs> Actually, women love Johnny Drew. Like top women tro- love Johnny top no, not back, women. Back to back, three years in a row. Bra. I'm not joking. I love that. At concert. least I've been I've been at all the co- all the Bro. three concerts. I love bodies. From seven, Gorgeous from women. seven p.m. They know they go late. That look like they have something to do in their lives. Yes, yeah, so you understand. That's what makes that place really good. Like 
the top shelf women mm-hmm. that probably came here come, came there on their own tickets yes. pay for their own shit. I agree. Do you understand? Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. Johnny, Johnny the, the kind of the kind of women that young boys look for. Yeah, I want to be with, oh, I want man. to settle with. But imagine you dating someone like Fireboy. Fireboy actually looks like a sweet boy. Huh? Yeah, he does. Which is I, I, th- I, th- I think Clayboy. I think now <laughs> now it's probably na- when it's it's been going off. Mm-hmm. I think he, he probably still has a sweet boy in him somewhere. I think if he finds, I'm one not saying you're not a sweet boy. I'm saying will you be boy that you can like you know you can bank on bank on it. Can you bank even on the person that stand up um, bank can on? Can you bank on him? The only person you can bank on my sister is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> carry me they go, Jehovah. Carry me they go. <laughs> they also see um, all this event organizers no what they all those guys that are in the drink drink business like excel like tia mm. tia will be a good boy yeah. and there's um, brand ambassadors tia they just lied on you my brother <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> they just lied on you mm. night like life boys night life boys are you are you joking are you <laughs> <laughs> top rooftop are you playing yourself <laughs> rooftop mcs <laughs> Nightlife boys. <laughs> what, about, what about artist managers? <laughs> now you have you have a lot of things to deal with because when the Bro, artist finish, to, when the artist finishes finish insulting the artist managers, you come and point out. Oh yeah, you can't even, talk you're, back you're, at you're, the artist. You're, you're, trying, you're even trying so hard to make sure that the artist doesn't get have a scandal with the woman. That Do you understand? Carries, for you to even think of your own. Do you understand? Do you understand? Trust me, it's not today's job. See, oh, shout out to artist managers. It's not it's play. Not. If, if you've been there and done that, you know. It's not play, especially when you have a successful popping artist. Yeah. These guys move like they're on crack. <laughs> yeah. See, that's that's <coughs> that's instant, especially when it's instant fame that it mm. was not planned for. Mm. After crazy. one single. After one, you just did one single, you just pop. Bah! They only give you two two million. Show money. Excuse that, me. That as easily as two two million. Two two million when they come in. Two 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 million three five uh, two million shows came in in three weeks. Yeah. Crack already. <laughs> the way they move, bro. <laughs> 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 That's when the boy will not carry and put you on Instagram. Now the woman where they chop my money. Be be say, I'm okay. I'm not hungry. I have. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got woman. I got car. Zer. Zazu. But it's actually not easy. Being, I think artist managers do not get talked about enough. With the kind of work that they do, not even like leg work, the mm. mental work that they do. Most of these guys are doing a no thank you job. It's a no thank you job. It's it's seriously a no thank understand? you job because you are constantly like being an being an artist manager. You are constantly thinking for a grown adult. Bro, like you are constantly thinking for the person. You are responsible for that person. Yeah. What. I'm just making sure that everything that is you put together a whole lot of things to yeah. make sure that that artist continues, rem- if not if not um, go up at least maintain mm-hmm. the level that they are mm-hmm. to ma- to ensure that your your income or whatever is still coming, mm-hmm. right? So it's a whole lot of work and mm-hmm. it's the 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 challenges that the f- artist managers face is not like you say is not talked about as much. It's not much. talked about enough because artist managers like, be doing the most. Yeah, do you understand when these artists are not even popping? The artists might even blame the artist manager. Now you know do this one. Now you know do that. Now you know do that. You know go the interview. You, you know wake you me know, up. You, 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 now, why didn't you wake me up? Why didn't you? I've 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 seen an I've seen an, an artist to tell his manager. You didn't let me know it was that important. What? What? Like how important? Like what? Bro, how can you want it more than? How can I want it more than you? If if it was that important, you would have shown more. More, uh, give me the chin, chin, yeah, chin, 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 Hmm. Yes, but a lot of them, also, a lot of them also need to step up. Yes, I must say they also need to get jobs. Out artists of are good. Artists, a lot of artists are good. Their managers. That's hmm. that's something that they need you to work on. A lot of artists hmm. outgrow their managers. Hmm. Uh, what? Outgrow their outgrow managers. their managers because the artists yeah. that's are not that even man- a lot of, themselves. Some managers need to work on that. See, hmm. see, trust. It's, it's not always like that. True. It's I know. I know. Like I said that. some, some. I said some. Okay. In a lot of situations where. 
I mean, it's still not a reason f- to treat people like but, shit, but like they, horrible, yep, right? Yep. And another thing is also, I think it happens because artists know that I'm your meal ticket. Yep. Yeah, exactly. that they also need to get a job outside of the artist. That's what needs to happen. You need to improve yourself. Do Godwin your Tom own... says it all the time. Get your own brand going. Have something. Get shit done. I mean, just have, just uh, provide value. Some, some Bring some, value to the table. If you are bringing of, money to the artist. value. Bro, David ain't going to shit on this, huh? No, but the, the question is before the money starts coming. Yeah. How you get, before the money starts coming, how is the artist treating the manager? So, like, <clears throat> before the money comes, obviously, you, you have been in the industry. The, industry. Yeah. the artist is going to be humble. Oh my God, when we blow like this, I'll buy people houses mm-hmm. and cars, shit like that. Mm-hmm. But when they blow, we know now. Right, it's a different thing entirely. Mm-hmm. But it's also not be, it's also not because the artists do it intentionally. You see, artists are narcissists. I've said it a yeah. lot. But the thing is, the narcissism they need it. Mm-hmm. Like, do you know what it takes for you to make it's music a, and it's say, it's, "I want to make music for two hundred million people to listen to"? Like, you must be, you, like... you must be, you must, bro, you get. Mm-hmm. I want the world to listen to me. You must be a narcissist or steroid. So mm-hmm. they need the narcissism. But the problem is, there has also downsides to it. Mm-hmm. So that's why it reflects on the manager sometimes. I've seen situations where, like, managers are, are literally moving like cyborgs, bo- boys, like boy boy for them for the artists, and I'm like. You guys are you guys are also the cause of your own problems, man. Yes, You're the cause of your own problems. If if the my artist knew that you had another so you had you had a business, you have you are going to I'm, school. I won't be chasing you up and down. So I can't. I can't be like, chasing you up and down. You are not entering events, and I'm trying to clear it for you. Who the fuck do you think you are? Mm-hmm. Tony's never going to forget his event. That Bro, that should piss me off. Manager, the artist manager clearing route for the artist. Tony has allowed, allowed us to hear what is this other thing. That should piss me off. Why, why, like the question is, why would you do that? Yeah, bouncer. Huh? Be, like, the artist knew where he was going to sit down, but the, the manager, manager left. left where he was. And sitting. Was, I'm like, nah, bro. Nah. Mm-mm, mm-mm, no, no, mm-mm. no, no. Mm-mm. That's not that's not cater, that's not catering. And, and how do you expect the artist not to shit on that type you. of manager? That's not catering. I understand that. That's but, not catering. And I think that generally, as people, are just overly obsessed with humility. Why you need, why you want your employee to be your employee? No, it's a power more. dynamic. And they are paying them. It's, see, and then a lot of things also happen in the sense that it, generally there are also situations where the assets blows up and the manager just doesn't have the capacity. Doesn't have the capacity, but the knowledge. No, that one, that one saved day. <clears throat> that one said, and when that happens, it's it's it, 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 it's clear. Yeah. How do you treat that situation with mm. respect? Because mm. what I think what we are even talking about largely is the respect from artists. To their managers yeah if you had grow a manager a manager base okay man used to do um a bigger label came now for example a, a, a major a, a major comes and, and now popping popping obviously you're popping popping you cannot use the next phase of your career doesn't need a one man you need a no, team yeah, for that yeah. but, do, but right? that, that, and that, that, but that and doesn't mean and your manager and your manager, manager cannot obviously handle all, handle of, all that. of all that yes are you going to then now say i don't agree this one so is now that's i true. have to cheat this, uh, cheat this person that's like true. shit no that's true. because that person mm. took you to the point where, where you're the able major, to get that so you you cannot you cannot um just discard that value that that person brought to you mm-hmm. you, you also if the person was there while you were improving you should also be the reason why that person improves yes so don't don't discard the person don't discard the person so maybe that's instead of point. instead of finding another manager find a business manager find a business manager yes that can, that's what that i'm can, saying yeah get deals yeah. why yeah. this person remains yeah. to manage to your, your day-to-day life because at the end of the day you still need that part of your life to be catered Fair. to Fair. do you understand the person knows you die the person knows you die knows you know your, the majors know majors don't know they only know the business they only care about your numbers yes yeah, that's that's all that all that emotional work, all that mental work that artist manager be doing for you. You see, business manager that has time for all that. We're asking you to do Like doing it now. <laughs> when I book show, come and perform. Do you understand? That's it. You, come if you like, no show up. Picture. You go collect. So, water, water. Do you know my favorite word now? <laughs> water, water, water porously. Water porous. Bro. Water porous. Please, Bro, whoever came up with that shit. <laughs> see, Baba put up something on his Instagram page. And he wrote, um, this is no stunt. I'm sorry for all the embarrassment I've caused my wife, my kids, my mother, and all our families and management in. Mm. I'm not looking for no sympathy. I'm not trying to make myself look good. There's no this is no reverse psychology bullshit. I simply just don't want to be that one that always apologize. I have been a shitty father, a shitty husband, a shitty baby daddy, and I have no excuses. I just want to do right by my wife. 
my kids and their moms and my mom and all my families and friends. I beg you all to please just face me and cancel me anyhow. I've been a star for so long that my bulletproof vest is worn out. I'm not quitting or suicidal or giving up. I just want to go back to my default settings and denounce my role model status and make up lost time with my kids and give you all music that you remember and understand why they call me to Baba. Mm. Then he posted his wife's picture. Um, I was forever grateful to you, Annie. I love you till I die. Your kind is rare. Grateful to you forever. So, two, two, two observations or three. Is he releasing a single song? <laughs> that I need God. That's one. Number two. <laughs> how many times has Two Face done this in the last three years? Does he always do this? I, think I, I love s- Two Face. I, 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 and that's why, that's why I refrain you, you can, from You can't talk about this. this this conversation, you know, yeah. yeah, that's just I can't. I don't have an opinion. But because it's two faced, because you love him, it's yeah. fine. No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't. I'm you not... know, because anything I say would be would be react. Yeah, I'll obviously react to just like what Tolani is trying to say. Like first of all, now what happened this time? Is there anything like it? It didn't say anything there. Like is there anything? But that's... he said, I don't know why Tolani. I don't know why you guys are no. always so skeptical. <laughs> because I work in this industry, Melody. I know PR. We know what's up now. But I also, I also work in this industry, and I know that some people have emotions. And no, so my, that's what I'm asking. What's the what's the what's premise, the, what's the premise for this? He has done. He, he just he woke up. Less than a year. He just woke up. Did something happen two days ago between him and Annie? <laughs> and why is social media the place to come and apologize? I don't know if you understand. So for me, that's why I said I don't want just. And you have done it because. Before. Why are you doing it is, again? Is there something that's is there, is there something, something new? Pata pata, okay, you cheated. Pata, that's pata, not new. Pata, 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 no, no, you don't understand what I'm saying. Like the last, the last time you did it, the actual thing, the actual argument was maybe he cheated. Or you they, they saw you with the other well, another baby. What's, that what's the worst project? thing that could happen now? You did so is, there anything, the is there anything that he did? <laughs> what recently? Comes, what will social media solve again? <laughs> you know, shout out to Tuba. What the fuck is it? No, but for real though. Well, okay. Like the la- I, th- I think the last statement sta- it was something along these lines too. Mm. Uh, let let's, call, let's call Ojo. I don't know who is Ojo? Ojo Afro Beats. <laughs> Afro Afro Beats Perez Who no. is Ojo, please? Entertainment editor at Pulse. No, the thing is just. Let me call him. I don't, I don't, I don't see the reason. Ojo is on speaker. Well, what do you think about people apologizing publicly? Though? Or just number is ringing in the gentleman. Did you come back the... to speak with a correspondent of Afro Beats? Hello, Ojo. How you doing? My brother, you are live on the Terms and Conditions podcast. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's up? All right. So did you see the um, Two Faces latest um, statement as regards his wife? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. Thank you very much. Is this the first time Two Faces has done that in the last two years? Uh, no, this is not the first time. Thank you very much. But when was the last time he took something that was very, very close to this? It took a route very close to this. I, th- I think I can remember a statement that was very similar to this. Early, early this year. Um, it was similar to this and he was also defending his wife. He was also saying stuff like, oh, please leave my wife for me. We love our assets like that. And you know, stuff like that. And people were like, okay, people should move now. And you know, my wife passed out on this boat. They, they know where they know each other from. Hmm. Uh, but this one now, it's kind of a bit different because he's saying, oh, you know, I've been harassment to my family, but... No, this time around. So he has done it before. What to fix this up? Um, thank you very much, Afro Beats Perez Hilton. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have a creative day. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see him now. You don't see him now. I really don't see the need for it. Yeah, if like you, if Tolani said, if he's if he's if he's trying to release new music and everything, I don't think this is the route. I, I really don't. Go. But guess what? He's doing this because it works. Does it really work? Like it, it's gets him into certain conversations, but there's also backlash to it because mm-hmm. now it's not reflecting on you because you're the guy, it's reflecting on the wife. As the downside to it. On mm-hmm. that downside, now, is it really reflective on, on the music? No. Not really, no. Not Must really. everything be about the music? Why do you get away no, if it, man, no, if he's doing it? No, mm-hmm. If he's like if he's saying. doing it about if, if if the music was going to be about like 444 where you're confessing to cheating. Hey, let's go. Yes, no, 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 we, know, did not we know there's something to hear. He said that he had the Minaj Etra. He said, is it, is it what it is? Did he, did he admit? Jay-Z, Jay-Z admitted to cheating several times on 444. 444, he cheated. He, I think he just said, I would. What? No, no. He admitted to cheating 
three I mean, times. Bro, he also admitted it on their joint album it's on never. a title on a song titled Friends. Shut up. I'm not living. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing mm-hmm. something when my house is on fire. Mm-hmm. When he was saying that, that was the reason why he didn't go to for Kanye's wedding. Because him and Beyonce had a fight. That, no, no, no. Because he your ma- no, he's your mouth. Out of Beyonce's marriage. And the girl hold on. Beyonce hold on for security. They use. They use. They use Creole witchcraft. What they use on, on legend? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nas nah, dreads. I beg, so I, I didn't even. I, I think I understand. I think I I understand where you guys are coming from. Now I'm not even aware. I didn't even remember that you know he has gone this route before. But what do you guys generally think about publicly apologizing to someone? I I, I don't think it's necessary. I don't. Think if you publicly embarrass someone, I don't think it's necessary. But you embarrass me publicly. Melody, did you did have, where have you seen this shit publicly? What it reacts to something that has blown up publicly. No, I'm saying that if I'm not talking about you, I'm just saying that if. Like you embarrassed the biggest did Jay Z and Beyonce ever ad- admit their whatever in a statement? No, after the elevator shit came out. No, bro, move on. Was it not public? Move on. Hmm. That shit was on TMZ. Apology is not for public, bro. I don't even like the idea of all this. Work on your shit in private. Apology is never for bro, public. Bro, b- let me tell you the trajectory of that what happened post that video. This came out of the elevator smiling at each other. That's One. the weirdest thing, bro. That's the wildest shit about that video. That's One. the wildest shit. Number two. They've worked on their wedding, and they gave me the finger, finger to Kaye. Yep. That, no, but I think it's right. it's unrealistic for you to even. And, and number to number three, anything. number three, everybody cashed out. Beyonce cashed out. Mm-hmm. Jay Z cashed out. Beyonce and Jay Z cashed out on the joint album. They cashed out on the joint tour. <laughs> So large cash that on two albums and one Grammys. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? That's how you deal with shit. <laughs> no, public apology. Well, no. Who, who does it? just one stories. But say? okay, okay. So there was a story that changed on social media about some girl calling out her dad, and one of her stepsisters coming on social media to tell her that why is she always dragging her dad. Like, oh, you're just looking for attention, right? And people are talking about how it is wrong for you to overshare on social media. What what do you what do what do you call oversharing? What's the definition of oversharing, Tolani? <sighs> we are a generation of oversharers, so the boundaries are very, very funny these days. Mm-hmm. Personally, what is your own what's your description of oversharing? <sighs> That's a good question. If uh, you were dating someone, what are the kind of things that you details, consider? Putting details of your life in, pub- in the public eye, details that could come back to bite you in the ass. Hmm. Because so, everybody knows some of those things. So let me let me oversharing for me is mm-hmm. when you are when you are sharing things to an audience that does it, that cannot give you sucker for for the thing that you're yes. So there's nothing there's nothing there's nothing bad with sharing. If I'm sharing some if I'm sharing information or sharing yeah. something with you guys mm-hmm. right now or people who I know personally. Mm-hmm. No matter no, how. No, I mean on social media. What is oversharing on social media? Over, that's what I'm explaining. What it's, okay, okay, it's okay. The dynamics okay. I right? Okay. And sharing things to people who can, who have no, that there's no, they have no stake. There, there's no, they, they don't no give stake. a fuck. Yeah. There's no stake. It's in. just, a, it's just the news of the moment. Yes. Yeah. No, I don't care about the details. You just bro, give their take and move on. Yeah, that's actually. If that audience, if I'm sharing to that audience, sharing intimate details into details. Yeah. To that audience, I'm oversharing. Yeah. Doesn't mean. The, the the what I'm sharing is not for public, but who am I sharing it to? Hmm. The audience is what determines whether it's over sharing or not. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm basically trying to say. If that audience is not going to offer me any sort of succor, or there's no no, they, they they can't even get the nuance of whatever or whatever happens between me and it's not going to directly affect them. Mm-hmm. Why are they? What do they need to know? But we have situations where people come and talk about how they had like a deadbeat parent. Like in the case of this one, she was talking about how her, you know, she was, she was talking about her 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 father and maybe her father not being like a um Present. an active parent and everything. Mm. And the other child who maybe the father treated better came on social media to fight for the father. Like, why are you talking about her father on social media? Like, why are you always mentioning our father? Keep his name out of your mouth. So and people are now saying, I did were they born on the same mother? No, no. separate mothers. So I think this one now went on. So That's I have another wild. family and you know start a new family. But this other person who experience they have different experiences a, of their that's, father. That's a lot of dynamic. Though. Do you understand? They have different experiences from the same man. One person is claiming he didn't he didn't treat her well, which is her experience. But you are saying that he's a good dad, which is your experience. Now you are mad at another person for coming on social media to drag the same man that you think is an idol. So, so the question is, why are you telling us? Which one now? The two of them. The two of them. Why are you tell like me that saw that thing now? What can I say? 
other than just say like, something that, that is saying, not the truth. That's just one side. That's saying or more. <laughs> For me, wow. for me, Omo is the only thing I can say. Wow, that's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> because just like you said, it's two of their experiences. What perspective do I, want, have? do I have to give in that scenario? Yeah, that's true. But you know that some people also take... I've seen people talk about how Twitter is their journal and how... That's they a, come on social media to run. That's a very crooked social, social bro. Uh, that's a very crooked coping mechanism. And how okay. how social Twitter is their coping mechanism? And when they have when they are tired, when they are going through something, they use social media to vent. Bro, put that for your journal. That's why you have write it. Write it somewhere. Write it on your laptop. Write it on your laptop or your put your it notepad. to your WhatsApp group with your babes. Your notepad. I mean, you are, at least you have people who care yeah, about you. Not, people who care about you exactly. So people who use Twitter as their coping mechanism and social media. Melody, it's a, it's a very crooked coping mechanism. Because number one, you are sharing to a bunch of people, like you said, that don't care. They don't have the context. So there will be a bunch of people that honestly, unruly, ag- honestly agree with you. Okay. There are other people, even when you are moving mad, they will agree with you. And even w- the other people, regardless of how right you were, they will come against you. Because there is a clash of perspectives on social media. Simple. You are complicating your own problems. problems. Why? Now, in this particular situation, nobody knows who, whether the man was a bad father or not to the babe. No, but she said that's her experience. Melody, that's Melody. Her. I don't know. Melody, I don't, don't know. We don't know. know. It was true. It was the man that be man that be lying. Why would she lie? Why would she not lie? Why would she not lie? We have seen situations like this before. What would she gain from lying against her dad? Like, Whoa. why? Oh my God. Melody, do you no, know that Melody, no. a bad father is a perspective sometimes? To landing. Melody, no. A bad parent I is not perspective. Sometimes. Uh uh-uh. uh. Sometimes. So, bro, have you not seen situations where a lot of people come on social media and blame their parents? Whereas they're the problem. They're the problem. Like the girl that was smoking in her father's in her mother's house. That one was just so wild. No, but, but she came on social media and talked about her mother was, was a bad parent. Yeah, was... Someone would say, why would she lie against her mother? The mother that carried her for nine months. No, but that one, she didn't lie. I think her mother was just upset that she was smoking. But why are you smoking in your mother's house? Do, do you understand? Go get your house if you want to fucking smoke. But she was bashing her mother. Exactly. That one was wild. That one was like, I can't really... But look at, but was she not saying her mother was a bad mother? And that's true. Yes, now. Now, I'm not saying that in this particular situation, it's not a possibility that maybe the father transferred the bitterness from his previous marriage. Also, like, child, it's very possible. It's happened before. But the fuck, the re- but the real story for me is that I do not care. Have the information. Why are you so telling why, me? Why are you telling me? The story is so nuanced. Now, the person that's coming is, is there's a chance that she knew that the father was actually a great father to everybody. So that was even saying that she that the other one is lying, that the father tried. And that she and that the father even tried for her, but she, but she and her mother will never admit it. That they almost drained the man's feeling. I don't know. So just talking plenty. It's very possible, but, but but and did. it's also and it's also possible that it's only one perspective that she has. Obviously, from the father's perspective, it's very possible. Obviously, the father's perspective. So, but the the cross for me. Why is, wh- why is it on social media? Why the fuck are you people not talking about it in private? It, if you really loved each other. Yeah. If, if, so it shows that there's a lot of toxicity she, here too. You have your tw- you have your Twitter handle. She, you know, like she mentioned her. Ah. She didn't. There was no Twitter hand. The one that saw the sister tweet or step sister tweet was not mentioned. No, but no, but, but that one I mentioned the other one. Like, why are you always? And then she saw the tweet from media? somewhere, from yes, where? Yes, yes. Me said the thing don't cast. You don't cast them. You don't. You don't pay, like. But people also come on social media and share things, and they get perspective. I know, but people know, but that that has happened. People are going through it, and I say, okay, this happened to me. No, do you think people learn anything from social media? I think so. Tom. No, no way. Do you think people learn? How do I put this? Ah, I've learned so much from social media. Yeah, I know. Do you think all the nuances, all the different perspectives to issues? Melody, you can learn a lot of those things in real life as well. They are living. They are here, around you. You don't need. So I don't media. have access to those people. How do you not? You have people here. You learn. You've learned way more in real life than on social media. Of course. Exactly. But I've learned. And I've social media that I talk is a microcosm of the real world. But you don't have all those people. And in even the same your social space, media, like, you don't melody, have. You're not, you're not, you're not, wait, you're not hearing pers- like you're not hearing hundred perspective on one topic at the same time. Now, what are you saying? But that's the pro- that is part of the problem you must, as well. Do you need to hear hundred perspectives? perspectives? You know what is right when you hear it. You are smart enough. A lot. See, especially from random fucking strangers. Like people that are just sharing. Would you Would you have a problem dating someone who shares? Oh yes. Oh yes, I will. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, I'm so fucking oh, whoa, 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 whoa. As a matter of fact, I, I don't want you to post me on social. I don't want to post you on social. 
I'm that private. Have you ever seen me post a woman I'm involved with on social before? Yeah. No. You have never seen story. it. Never. Never. Not once. No, I met a gay man, man. Not yeah, once. Well, I haven't actually. No. Bro, because this world is tailored to destroy you and your relationship. People are not. They are happy. waiting for a relationship to crash. I, well, I I feel like what's I don't I don't think I don't think I don't think all of that energy. I understand. I feel like people should be very particular about the amount of the, the kind of thing that you see on social media. Something that's too sensitive, right? There there are ways where even if you maybe post your you girlfriend. You can have conversations. Yes, even if you post your girlfriend on your story, like you now, or you post somebody you're with. So long as they're not giving us details about the relationship, we don't need to know what's Melody. going on. Oh, this person did this this morning, this person did that this morning, and all of that. But, but some people also do that. They like to do it. I don't think there's anything let, let, wrong let me with also, it. Let me also explain That's to what you. they like to do. Let me also explain to you. No, I don't understand. I mean, that, I, I, I don't think that's a problem. But yes, it's when think, there's now... I think the pest, I think the the motive or mm-hmm. the intention for matters. doing it exactly do you understand do you understand the intention for doing anything on social media yeah. matters. yes some some are you posting because you want to mark territory me mm. nobody are you posting it because you know it's going to trend yeah why would you want to trend oh, that's where a lot oh, of people post a lot that's... of things do you think people are, are interested in you nobody cares about anybody to be offering anybody nuggets the nuggets is taking too of too, too much of your time yes, sir. who the fuck do you think you have to be offering people nuggets <laughs> but so we can't act like people don't learn anything from social media though melody when i do you know the problem regardless of how packaged is a, a thing is when you see something that is tailored for numbers you will know and yeah, that's the problem of social media of course and that's the reason why most times i don't even engage in any kind of conversation i because, don't care because i, I see like, it. leave me i'll just say i just laugh because yeah. you know people are going to react yes i agree it's content i agree it's content bro it's content now Niggas are creating joint accounts for with themselves and their wives on social. I mean, that's their thing. <laughs> but bro, I, 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 I can't understand it. Me. What don't you understand about it? Bro, I, is it the YouTube lover thing? No, the social media joint. Bro. Sure and then account. you are documenting your get, bro. Sure that's too much for me. Sure Even account. my my Instagram, only me. It's too much already. Bro! I only have four posts on my Instagram. Four. What, is, what does Tony mean by joint account? Please explain that joint account. No, part. like joint um, YouTube um, profiles or whatever. Jack oh. and Jones, Jack, oh. and, Jack and Jane, oh. uh, family YouTube oh. page. Oh, oh, so you can't be like a social media couple. Does he want that? Me? Yeah, you. Maka, why? <laughs> you no, no, you can be, you can, you as the wife now, you can have your, maybe your, your work, your work revolves around maybe content creation and everything it's it's understandable that maybe one day i'll just pop in into your channel and everything right don't want an episode to grace her shit just to grace your shit and everything but it cannot be a lifestyle but it cannot be a i can't be that no no my fam i'm too guarded for my life to be in it fam do you know the amount of things that you don't know about me no don't Hmm. Hmm. that's you you're my guy Hmm. you're my guy 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 Mm -hmm. Or you almost gonna be telling everybody, come on, man. It's not who I am. That's that's the most important thing here. It's not who I am. It's an individual thing. Yeah, exactly. For, for me, for me, it's even it's the do you know how weird social media is for me? Social media is so weird that I I I am terrified to share a win on social media. Does that make I, sense? I feel, I Bro, I can't do it. It's hard. Like to announce something. I hit like to make an announcement. Oh, I just wanna it's hard. Like I get anxious no, to the question think is, about doing it. No, the first when things for things like that, I ask myself, who needs to know? Like, who needs to know? I ask first thing I ask, who needs to know? And I do it like a mental check. Yeah, a mental check. Okay, this person, this person, this person, this person. Do I have direct access to call them and say, yo, ah man, I just secured this bag. Bro. Yeah, okay. Ah, nice one, nice one. Internal. Why do I need to And those those wins, Melody, there was a win that I shared with you guys knew it separately, knew yeah. about it separately. Mm. When I told them mm. about you, I told you in a car. Mm. When I told them, we were hugging it out in the lobby of Kulefen. Yes, Remember? we were. We mm. were. Nothing beats that for me. We we're hugging that. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Me, you, me, her melody and Tej mm. were, were in a oh, grown ass people. Yeah. That's that's where. That's that's what it. I deem to be. The rest of the world does it, mm. bro. They just want. Content. 
Hmm. If my people know it, that's enough. Why do I, why do I need? But but you know that you know that now I I I I I feel that just like my just like for example my birthday, I had a whole last party. Yeah. Yes, you did. I had pictures like yeah I, yeah. Bro, are you gonna see any of all that <laughs> anywhere? No. <laughs> It's a moment. Like there was a full on photo photographer there yeah. taking pictures. There's a whole Google Drive and but it's for my people. If I if I see if I feel the need to share it, I'll share it to the people who were there. But it now feels it's now weird because lots of times people feel like when there's no social media gratification for something, it's not existing. Oh, that's part of the problem. It's not existing. I mean, there's there's, good, good there's also you. there's also there, there are also content creators, right? Yes. They understand how to do that while still maintaining the personal private life. I promise mm-hmm. you. So I, people know how to do that. That's why I said, if maybe your what, job is around what, that's content what I even, creation. That's what I even, even explained to Tony that there are even ways that you can share things where you're not sharing anything. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? It's like people assuming they know more about, there's such people that you, you see every day, but you don't know shit about them. But you think you do just by what they share. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? It's like a Beyonce and JT thing. It took elevator for someone to leak a video yeah, for us to yeah. even know that there was, there was an issue internally. There was mm-hmm. nobody stopping anybody. Yeah. There was no, Beyonce was a person her picture with, but they had a way that they handled it. Nobody or followed anybody. Nobody or... On, there was no drama around it. Do you get it? It was just very internally. So there are ways that you can share things where people are like, oh, those people, that's, that's her person. But they don't necessarily know the entire details. It's mm-hmm. now people who constantly feel they need to maybe share certain things like someone said, oh. And I also understand people who do that, even though I, it's not a personal thing. People who do that maybe be like, oh, I had to share this because I, I was feeling down. Someone said, I come from social media. When I'm feeling down to share certain things for perspective and it makes me feel better. Some people feel better when people tell them sorry on social media. Oh, the ma. It's a pro- that's a problem. Do you know that's a, that's a trauma response? Hmm. It is. It's a trauma response yeah. because what can people in your what what can they give you that people in your life can't give you? People that know you. You assume that everybody got people in their lives actually. Melody, everybody has at least one person. The question is, are you listen, are you ready to listen to the one person? Or do you life? or do you just enjoy the attention of strangers? Hmm. Is it, because sometimes it's just the attention that you love. Hmm. The fact that you can be you can be performative and be crying, somebody's telling you sorry. Uh, so uh. People that don't know you tomorrow, fuck up, they go drag your life. Drag you, bro. They go drag you like a beta gen. So it's just in case you be wondering where Tony has been going, and he's trying to arrange for like someone that's to, uh, a guest that's supposed to be on the show. That's why you keep going out to people. Yeah, it's not come coming. Up. It's not coming. So that's yeah. why I'm just trying to explain to them why you yeah. keep stepping. He's here, people. but he's in the building. He's here, but it's there's no there's no point. So I don't. It's two hours uh, already. Maybe you should just come like thirty minutes or like ten. Nah. there's no need. Let's let's plug it for another day. Plug for another day. Yeah. Okay, so are we done? Yeah. Are we done? That is we're done. No, we need to talk about uh, yes. the Commonwealth Games. We need to shout out to. The- <laughs> Yes, Don't yes, Nigeria yes. women are achieving. Good, they according keep sa- to Nigeria women July, keep yeah, saving yeah. us. Ah, Nigeria. I put out a tweet where people were talking to Rania next year. Ah, um, um, listen, listen, terms and conditions, listeners. We we did an episode some weeks ago titled "Intention versus Perception." I love you guys. You guys are so fantastic. We love you so much. Do you guys just like drama? Do you guys I love drama? Because why are you tagging Tony and accept my tweets every minute? Of because time? they know that your intention is tainted. I said our female <laughs> athletes made our female athlete made Nigeria proud at the Commonwealth Games. Twelve gold medals. Shout out to our women. I normally talk about this on the pod as usual. I expect them to knock, knock me, but didn't, but didn't they do the work? Hey, but it's intention. They brought the they is, brought grace when there was disgrace. The person is looking at the intention. What's my intention? exactly intention? Intention of what you are supposed to share. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm talking is it, about. Is it praising women? Yeah. Or is it also taking shots at men? Men. Because they know you. But that was such a pure thing for mm. me to do. Ah. No, the question is asking. The person is saying that. <laughs> the person who tweeted says. Your intention is not entirely not no, it's Ex- not entirely for praising exactly. for praise singing. <laughs> <laughs> praise singing. Yeah, there are some shots here. There are shots. Ka-ka, boom. Ka ta ta. <laughs> Nigeria's twelve gold medals, all won by women. All. No shout out to shout out to Cows Team Nigeria at uh, the uh, Commonwealth. I think this is the first time we are ever being top of the medal table for African hmm. for an African that is crazy. Yeah. Hmm. You know, when African countries are perf- um, good for tournaments and everything, yeah. usually it's like the Kenya, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ethiopia, yeah. Ethiopia, South, South, uh, South Africa, Africa as you know, top of the medal table. Wrestling, but this is like the first time. weightlifting. I mean, um, I mean, shout out to relay, Nigerian athletes. Long jump. We're literally just winning everywhere. Um, 100 meter hurdles. Four by, 
four by four by four by hundred. Four by four by hundred. I was blown away by that. That one, that one was that one was bad. That was mind blowing. Especially in a, in a team that had Jamaicans. Yeah. And Britons. And, and Britons and, and Barbados. Aussies. Ba- and fr- the ladies from Barbados. Or more. No, shout out to... I mean, it just shows that... I don't know what has happened in, in the, the athletic space in within the, the last four or five years, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because, I mean, Nigerian, Nigerian sports, apart from football, is actually, de- actually depressing. Yep. What's going on with other sports uh, yep. federations in the country. But just to see that there's like a renaissance of um, the whole athletics especially with the females mm-hmm. just leading and doing great things and it, don't, it didn't just start l- this year i mean brumer won good long time ago in common way but yeah. i think now people are actually knowing that it's, it's not a fluke yeah. right yeah. it's been worked consistently and whatever he did four years ago three years ago even sa these are people who have been out there but they this is i think right now people are actually 12. people are actually ah. now recognizing that they are actually world class athletes, as against just the way they try win. It's not yeah. try; they are dominating now. They are. Mm. And I hope that shot. they, I hope that they actually um, dominate for a long, for a long time. And yeah. hopefully, brands again. Brands, that's, that's what I wanted to say. Brands, brands, that's brands, what I wanted to say. brands, brands. Toby should be on billboards right now. Should Bro, be everywhere. Right now. Right, right now. now. Even all of, if, if not for anything, just. Just putting out a congratulations Bruh, message. She should be on fucking billboards right now. I don't know Bruh, why that's, a, that's like up. that's Nigeria's first world champion. Bra. I don't know why brands won't go behind these women. It's it's quite disheartening. Because they are, I don't because they are women. Possibly yes. And also, I'll, I'll say it with, I'll say and also aesthetics. Also aesthetics. When these things happen, when these things happen, you, things happy, you see how I don't want to mention certain platforms and just try no, to do mention. a comparison thing. Yeah, you see how women go on certain platforms and when they come out of those things, they're getting all the all the recognition, they're getting mm. all the billboards because they look a certain way. Yeah, mm. do you understand? Because they look they look acceptable conventionally. They, yeah. you know, conventional beauty, point. conventionally beautiful. But, but the we have girls are beautiful. They are. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, what but, is but your they're, definition they're of beauty? beautiful? So society's definition of beautiful. Are, they do you understand? They, they don't fit it. They will not say. Based on their standard anyway, because to me those women are beautiful. They are fine girls. They are, um, do you understand? The, Look the, at their that skin. That be the final. The, the girl that was in final Lego. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, what are you people doing? And besides, there are other things that you can even put these women on aside from beauty. It must always be about beauty. They're always different oh, that's things. Sad, that's sad thing about. Must always be about beauty. Must always be about their body. Women, women are so much more than these things. Do you understand? So you can put them in a different. They but work well in different spaces. Can't can't to be run hundred meters. Maybe she can collect me that too. Uh, maybe. She should be able to run 100 meters. So. Maybe, bro. Uh, if, if you're if, running... If you're running 12 in 12 hurdles, point, 12 point. you can do 9 in 100. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to the women. Shout out to Toby. Yeah, hopefully we see the men... Toby, men. I mean, I love Toby. Maybe, hopefully we see the men in the next He's Commonwealth Games. Now. No, no, she's from Ogun State. Support the it's women. It's Ogun State. Ogun, or no, no, she's from Ogun State. So then it's okay. You guys can argue about this. Your oh, it's Jebu. She's a Jebu. So you guys can take your seat of origin thing. In the meantime, hopefully the men will pull up next Commonwealth Games and support the Agend. women. In their wealth of experience, but do you, and do you, do you guys, would you guys have a problem because it's a very distinct possibility that these girls go run for not go do shit for another country? They should. You look at your money, bro, ladies. You are not, bro, please don't do any petrol. I mean, that's that's not thing. giving you money. Bro, 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 bro. get out. <laughs> we will still love you. We will still stand in those countries. Bro, Omo, Omo this one guy. year. Maybe this guy. What's his name? Uh, Kingsley Obikwe. 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 Is Ronaldo's personal trainer? Yeah. Imagine chopping money. Please don't bother yourself. Collect it, bro. Collecting is in, bad. Yeah, in Nigeria, using your photo, your pictures to take social media and snap and say, "Our ah, girl, our ah, girl, our ah, girl." <coughs> Collect your money. Wake up. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We are.